three times thirteen. <laughs> Lightning! Rock! Ah, death! Ugh. A never weakened one shot. You are a party, a successful party of adventurers who has been trudging your way through Ravenloft, specifically Barovia. This is Travon Zarevich. Uh, the demon lord, the vampire lord of this realm, has tormented you. It's gone through maybe two years of uh, just mis misguiding, just like uh, playing with your heads. You've been trying to rescue these poor people from under this uh, tyrant's um, hold over them, but uh, they you have and you come to the climax. You finally are ready to confront the beast. And as you approach the the castle, the lightning strike, the wind's blowing, wind howling, and uh, everyone's ready. You're, you're beaten down, but your, your, your morale is good, and you're ready to go in. And as soon as you enter his chambers, uh, you are swarmed by uh, his complete harem of <laughs> vampire spawn. Taking everyone under, you, you go through levels and levels of his tower, and uh, as soon as you think you've gotten some headway, uh, he like slashes you, and another vampire spawn uh, comes up above. So it's just it, it, it swarm, swarm, swarm. You get to the final battle. All of you are on the roof of his castle, and uh, everyone's doing their best, just swinging, swinging. But uh, it is just overwhelming, and unfortunately. All but everybody roll a d20. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Yeah, you can just put a mic on. I got a five. I got a three. Okay. Fourteen. Eight. 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 Eleven. Nineteen. Ooh. 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 Are we adding anything? No, just the flat d20. Okay. All right. So nineteen's the highest. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right. And what's your character's name? Uh, Porter. Porter. You. Fight with every ounce that you can. Uh, every might is, is squeezed. You you see, at first you think you're doing okay, and then uh, on the first level of Strahd's uh, vampire swarm, you see your, your friend fall, and uh, one one goes down, and you guys are seven. The mighty seven. You've been you, you know career career adventurers. Very demoralizing because three go down <clears throat> right after that. So it's it's the the, the tide changes so quickly. From like confidence and zeal to oh fuck <laughs> oh no and uh, by the time you get to the top three it's only uh, Porter and Aya Aya, Aya. Aya and well, one other in Mark's character uh, Gregor Gregor so you three are left Strahd at this point it, it seems like every time you 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 swing at your sword and you you would expect blood or some some damage to be done he just keeps getting away with it he keeps getting away with it. <laughs> Uh, and then, and you sign it, the porter, you finally see, uh, Aya goes down. What's your name? Gregor. Gregor, boom, boom, right next. And as Strahd tears into the flesh of, uh, Gregor, he rips it out, and you see you're fighting, you're trying to reach for your sword, and, and he comes over, and, uh, the, the life just leaves your friends, and now there's just corpses, there's corpses everywhere, and then even, uh, he sends away his spawn, who are, like, cleaning up the rest of the blood. And he comes to you, and he stands above you. He says, I told you you were nothing. And you defied me still? <laughs> well, it's time to join your friends. And he just very quickly <laughs> just sinks his teeth in to your throat. Just At first, you, you feel the blood just draining, and then <laughs> full on just rips all your throat muscles out. And dead. All of you are dead. <laughs> Now, good game, guys. Yeah, good game. <laughs> so you guys awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Time to do it. Porter, as quickly as you feel that transition of life, the, the the warmth that you don't know you're accustomed to, or you don't notice just because that's your body temperature, but at the very end, the last few seconds, you just, it's so cold. Everything leaves, and then in a blink, you are poofed into a different realm. You're, you find yourself floating in space. Your 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 clothes are the same, but your your wounds are are there's no wounds. You you you're just floating in space. You hear a, a friendly voice behind you, and it's it's Aya. Oh, 
Here, he finally made it. You hear that voice, you floating, you turn around, you don't know how you're moving, you're just kind of willing it. You turn around, there's all your friends. They're all floating. And when you see them, everybody else, uh, we're gonna say, from your perspective, a, a great amount of time has passed. For him, it was a blink of an eye. So you guys have been there dead for a long time, <laughs> hanging out. <laughs> Behind them, so it's like you you turn around and you look behind them is, you notice you're, you're like in space. You're, it's wild space. Stars in the distance, nebula, like in, you see it moving. It's, you're such in a weird, like you can't tell the scale because normally you would just like witness these things. You see like almost the universe, Like inhaling, exhaling, there's a rhythm, there's a vibe to everything. And uh, honestly, when you look at, if you were to look at yourselves, there seem to be little tracks moving all over you. I don't know if anybody's ever been friends with it. It's like, <laughs> you're kind of seeing these, all these geometric figures up here and uh, a kind of re reoccurring theme with gears specific, specifically. A lot of gears that, that sometimes the sky will short out. For, for lack of a better word, and you see like behind it some kind of grid structure, and but it, only for flashes. And again, like you're experiencing these, almost like you could reach out and touch the nebula and affect it. And so behind them, you see a planet-sized planet, <laughs> <laughs> but it has covered in eyes and one giant eye at the at the very center. Uh, no one feels ill will from this being. In fact, uh, everyone feels is overcome with a sense of calmness and and that rhythm that everyone's feeling the universe. <laughs> everyone's feeling it. Uh, it's just it's almost like a like a, a mother's womb, like when you play that sound for babies. Ah, oh, yeah, that's good stuff. So. Very soothing. This uh, and your friends welcome you, and they uh, they wonder like, oh yeah, what took you so long? And it's funny like that. Uh, so I won't, I won't put words in your mouth for too long. So uh, you have a commiseration, and and from your perspective, like, what do you mean? Where have I been? Like, Mr. just killed us, and then uh, maybe I guess, sorry, I keep going to you. I don't know your name and Gregor and everybody, but uh, man, I should have those names. I'll just say your real names. That'll make it easier. For the sake of making things easier later, can we have said that everyone knows that I can transform into a werewolf? Yeah. <laughs> you guys have had a full career from pre Barovia, mid Barovia. Would have been hard to hide yeah. this whole time. But yeah, uh, everyone sees you appear and you're like, what, what do you mean? Like, I just died. And then. Uh, uh, Daniel's character is like, oh yeah, Stride, man, how is he? Like, <laughs> not only has it been so long from his perspective, y'all, everybody's perspective, in whatever order you died in, like, let's say he's the first, it's been like a, a long time. I won't say it specifically. It's like, oh yeah, like not only were you expecting maybe horror or like shock, but he's like, ah, just uh, completely at ease. Uh, so. As soon as you arrive, uh, the planet blinks. <laughs> just you hear it, you you feel it blink, and uh, a portal opens up behind you. Actually, not behind. So in, in between you and the planet, and steps through a being, uh, seemingly metallic, shimmering, and. Uh, Ever changing. So as it steps through, it's not really walking, but portal opens up, it emerges, and with every movement, it's like left foot, right foot, this being seems to be ever changing. Like a, like there's a scales all over him, or he's made of scales that keep that are constantly changing. One minute, uh, I mean, you guys are adventurers, you, you've come across all kinds of uh, different classes that uh, adventurers might be. You've seen uh, you know, different monsters, different animals, all kinds of animals, uh, beasts. This thing steps through and with uh, eerie confidence comes up to everyone floating. And uh, 
again, just keeps changing. So like as soon as you have a lock on its eyes, it's it's like something else, and it, it just transforms. So uh, it steps forward, portal closes, and this being uh, m takes measure of all of you. He goes up and uh, Daniel, what's the character doing? Uh, window. Window goes up to window, top to bottom, just like surveys and uh looks around you looks back he's like okay and you notice whatever he was before as soon as he looks at you and he reaches out and touches your shoulder and from his fingertips going this whole body uh it changes and he looks it's not duplicating you but you can tell uh he adapts the weaponry that you have on you it becomes part of his body and uh it's like he absorbs everything like a chameleon, but not just color. Like he, he absorbs everything. And he like, <clears throat> for half a second, it looks like he's like, okay, that's how that would work. And he goes <laughs> on to your character and he's like, these so, and he's talking to someone the whole time. He's not talking to you. He's like, so these are the ones? And he keeps, he'll touch you. And then uh, what's your character's name? Manzar. Manzar. So as soon as he does, he's like inspecting you. Like, he'll like, Kick your boot. <laughs> He's like, what, what is this? And as soon as he does, from his foot, uh, start to shimmer. Kind of like a Mystique in X-Men, the way she does her morph thing. Yeah. Uh, and then he, he requests, um, are you sure we can't get anybody better? Like, <laughs> anybody stronger? This is it? There's no answer. But again, the planet just blinks. And you don't hear anything, you don't sense anything, but uh, this being almost, <laughs> this being turns around and he's like, well, okay, all right, I guess it's him then. And uh, he, every, like, we'll say it's like this, you're in a little semicircle. He says, uh, hello, uh, good to meet you. Um, you're not what I was expecting. I'll just say that. Uh, I have, uh, I've got some powerful friends and some uh, friends that need some help. Uh, actually, my powerful friends need help right now, too, but I need to get back to that. You have a different task. Uh, who would like an opportunity to live again? To be alive? Choosing life over death. Uh, well, I have an opportunity for you. Uh, it's a bit of a mission. You're going to go in and you're going to help some folks. That's kind of all I can say right now. So, uh, if you're in, and he doesn't really wait to confirm again, he just opens a portal. When he opens a portal, as he moves his arm, I say he, it's like a thing. Uh, it's almost like uh, you see in phase. Uh, so it's like he's moving in real time. You see maybe like a like a, some multiverse uh, nonsense with a, if is watching Loki, some some suck factors. <laughs> He's getting a time sickness or whatever. Are we doing the ending of that latest episode then? So good. <laughs> oh, okay. I haven't seen any of it. Yeah, no, I'm about to it. Yeah. It's awesome, but yes, I didn't watch the video. Yeah. So as he opens the portal, it's just the way he does it. It look cool. And uh, instead of like motioning for you to to go, he just. Uh, reaches out as if to like maybe yeah he does he in fact reaches out and if anybody goes to grab his hand he just he just pulls everyone and uh everyone at the same time you, you feel this like gravity from and like inside your stomach just pull your whole body out, oh, and everyone is thrown through this portal and he says oh, i'll probably see you soon maybe not though i'm not sure I'll, but probably <laughs> and then portal closes Here's the crazy part. Uh, All that wasn't the crazy part. <laughs> <laughs> that, that wasn't crazy. <laughs> in, in contrast to the peace and love and, and calmness everybody was feeling, uh, you wake up in excruciating pain. Uh, and uh, let's see. Who would wake up first? It doesn't matter. Everyone wakes up at the same time. <laughs> and. Uh, 
Each of you is feeling different pains because they're in different spots because you find yourself impaled and moving. You are on a creature and you are being moved and you are impaled. How feel you? How feel you? How Oh, like how far are we yeah, impaled? It's like a light. Oh, 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 shit. oh, this hurts. For mechanics purposes, we're going <laughs> to say everyone is down to 30 HP. Um, if there's spell slots, that doesn't matter. Just everything else is long restable, whatever. But the your HP is down to 30. Uh, currently bleeding, everybody. <laughs> uh, you find yourself alive again in your body. All your stuff is there. The, the blood stains from Strahd, all the, in his vampire spawn, it's all there. It's it's caked on, but oh my god, the smell. It's, it's fucking horrible. Uh, it is just decay and rot everywhere, and you can't tell if it's you or, like, something <laughs> next to you. Everyone is in different, you know, there's no science to it, but it's, you're stuck to this thing that you're being moved, and, uh, yeah. What would you do? I have a thing impaled in me, so that doesn't feel great. <laughs> Are we like all impaled in a row, or can I like attempt to lift myself off of whatever is currently impaling me? Let's make a perception. Roll for perception. I was just like, here we can remove ourselves. It's got the ice! Yes! And the deuce. Yeah! yeah. Alright. 23. 23. Uh, we're gonna just for fun. The it's the same rhythm, like the same beat of the universe breathing. You're also stomping and boom, boom. So instead of it's boom, boom. And at first you may think it's related, but as you look around, you notice you are several feet off the ground, uh, about ten feet. As you pull your head loose to look down, and uh, you see your friends next to you. Uh, not all of them, but like uh, we'll see. You, you can you can make out two of your friends. We'll, we'll just say Clayton and Jason, uh, Jason's characters, right there. And uh, as you get a better look, you look down and you notice that it's you guys and a bunch of other corpses. And you, it, this whatever this is is this house-sized being is just lumbering through the dark forest. Uh, in Ravenloft, somewhere in Ravenloft. Um, 25 or something? Right? 23. You notice out of the corner of your eye a, a, a ghoulish, amorphous thing coming at you. It's like a, a puddle of, like a, a living puddle of something. No sound, it's not making any sound, it's just like eerily encroaching on you as it leaves another corpse it's like <laughs> as it leaves nothing but bones on the corpse as it creeps over uh we i'm n near these guys and i try and grab them and shake them awake as well yeah i'll say everybody who i mean if you're trying to get loose i'm gonna make a strength check strength check okay, okay. Before we start round, um, I have the arm whip, so it's like it's a gauntlet. Like I um, uh, Could I try to use the whip to grab on something that kind of yanks me out as it's walking? Uh, you can try, yeah. Uh, add a, you know, add five to your roll. Okay. You say strength? You mean athletics? Um, it's not a saving throw, right? Right. Athletics check. Athletics. Okay. Oh, sorry. Fifteen. Okay, 15, 15 is the DC, so... Well, 12. For yeah, 18. got 12. 15. Plus 9. <laughs> okay, so everybody who 10. succeeds... I have a plus 7 and I got a 9. Everybody who succeeds uh, is able to get yourself loose, but you take 6 uh, piercing damage as you do it. Oh. Even though you've been brought to life, <laughs> they didn't do a great job. <laughs> <laughs> But if you succeeded, you took six. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. But if you did succeed, you failed. You don't move. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Stop. laughs> it's still sweet. All right. Uh, so this being, as it as it 
creeps its way uh, into the puddle. Um, you say you got yourself free. What What are we doing? Everybody who's free, what, what's the first thing you're doing? Um, I turn around and see if there's anyone else still on there. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I failed. Yeah. Yeah, so. yeah your brothers <laughs> failed too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting up and checking. Yeah. Try to see who else is. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna turn and try to pull him out. I guess. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. Everybody who's that, if you want to try that, and I'll say like if you're checking for your friends, everybody can hear each other's moans. Like everybody's like, oh, 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 oh. it hurts. And uh, as uh, everyone starts to activate and uh, try to break yourself free, uh, you notice that the thing you're on stops, and it has noticed you. <laughs> You've noticed his movement. So you are. Pinned to a cadaver collector, it's called. And it is a thing that is picking up bodies, sticking them to himself. <laughs> picking up <laughs> bodies, sticking them to himself. For what purpose, we don't know. But he's doing it. And uh, you're the bodies. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's roll for initiative. Uh, we'll say, um, yeah, we'll, we gotta wait. Yeah. Is this after we? That we are helped or before? No, I gotta wait till the, yeah. Because that would have, that's like one action. Everybody's trying to get up, that would have been one around or whatever. I'll say that. Moving forward, yes. And you can, he can make his uh, check with advantage. I got a 12. Uh, me too. We're rolling initiative right now, though, right? Yes, roll, everybody roll initiative. Oh, please. And whatever we have here, just hold on to that. We're going to use it so we don't have to keep doing it. I re so got six. <laughs> yeah, I got, uh-huh. I got a six too. Yeah, I got twelve. <laughs> I've got. He has a plus eight with advantage, and he got a twelve. I have a yeah. plus ten, and I got eleven. <laughs> so we're both still pinned, so it's not. Nice. We're gonna do stick off monster two and three. Need to be hard coming in with the low rolls. Yeah, I'll get my low rolls out of the way. Now. <laughs> Yeah, I'd rather have yeah. it be initiative than it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, monster, uh, one and two, but just monster one. Ace is seventeen. So if you got you guys arrange yourselves, you know, however you roll. Well, me at the bottom sounds right. <laughs> Which one is it? Yeah, leave that one there. Um, I'm right next to him. Aaron and Clayton should be Sh- next to each other with if a twelve. If there's one for Chase, move that above monster one. That's mine. That's good. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm already above last year. Oh, I see. Who got one numbers? We got 12. 12, 6. Daniel, 6. 18. 18. Oh, crap. Daniel, 6. Daniel at the bottom of Josh. I'm right behind Josh, too. Mark, you said you got a what? 11. 11. So under me and Aaron. Daniel's probably at the bottom. Daniel, got a what? Daniel, what's your dex mod? Yeah. Uh, what's your dex mod? Plus five. Oh, yeah, same. <laughs> uh, that should be... Okay. Uh, plus three. Put Daniel above me. I'm only a plus one. Alright. Are you Steffel? Did you roll? Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, I rolled. You're tall. I got fourteen. I got fourteen. Uh, you still, no, still, still, still be under monster one. Then. Oh, monster. Mm. monster one got seventeen. My bad. Yeah, no, they, these were from my original campaign, which wasn't a campaign. That was me. Yeah, <laughs> playing with I don't know, air. <laughs> Is this <laughs> So, all right. Uh, everybody, is that correct? It should be. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, two things. The, the the monster that you are attached to is aware, but there's also this thing. Uh, I keep almost saying the word. Uh, blinking its way to you. <laughs> uh, it's, I'll just say, it's, it's an ooze. It's an ooze. I feel like it's like... <laughs> Monster, we would know what an ooze would. I also keep, I can't come up with a better word for what it's doing. I'm like, ooze, it's ooze. Yeah, it's, it's ooze. Oozing. It's ooze. <laughs> it's, what, are you, what else do you call it? I just thought, I thought of it as a big slime monster. Yes. Yeah. 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 It's squelching. Squelching. Oh. <laughs> Sporching. All right. Uh, all right. Initiative. So this thing starts to 
Well, it's it's very large, and right with it again. It's, I can't just turn this around. Uh, again, it's big enough to hold all you guys and more. So it starts to realize some of its corpses aren't being corpses, and it starts to like ah, ah, like slap away at its back. So that's that's kind of what's happening. All right. Uh, engage. Fighting both these things. Uh, first chase. Yes. At the top of the initiative. You, right next to your friend, who's still, like, uh, impaled. We'll, we'll say it's missing, like, the Bible organs, you know. So, uh, I don't know, kidney. Ah! No one needs a liver. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You got another one? Or another kidney, anyway. All right, what's that? But, uh, yeah, he's, like, struggling. His arm up reach to you. Uh, what do you do? Uh, yeah, I'm going to grab his arm and I pull. Nice. Okay, so. Mm, also 16? That was what should be my action, I guess. Yeah, so we yeah. won't do the strength check, so we'll just say it happens, but go ahead and take the six uh, piercing, as it does. Um, let's get our tokens kind of next to the bad guy. Tokens, whatever. Okay. <laughs> so you guys are melee. All right. Are you off in someone position you within melee? Yeah, that's funny. Normally you guys would be in the center. This is fine. It makes more sense. So, uh, oh, and I don't have a thing for. Oh, and yours. Are we just close? I'm close because I'm on its back. Yeah, we're all on its back. Okay, there you go. Honestly, can we use this as the news? Yeah, go ahead. Sure. I assume we like jumped, jumped off somewhere like right there still. What? Well, we're on its back. Everyone who has succeeded, it, he's so big that. Uh, you're you're still like on it, like you would oh, okay. have to climb down over ah. other bodies, or using its spikes as like you know, rock climbing or whatever <laughs> pegs. Uh, so you help him up, he gets up, takes the piercing damage. We're good. Uh, is that it for turn? Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna also uh, use my bonus action to use my crimson right. So I pull out two hand crossbows. And like the bow part like collapses in, so I pull it out, it shoots out, and then like starts glowing, and a, a bright radiant light emanate, emanates like twenty feet around me. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, does it hurt anything? Like, no, it doesn't do anything. It's just light. Uh, yeah, it's just from it's, just, it's radiant light. Um, and they don't think it does any damage now. The light itself. Uh, that's good. So I should have described this. It, it is at nighttime, so that's yeah. This, this lights up. So everything brights up around. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Uh, all right, goes to the monsters as I'll do the, do the first. It's as you, you, you help your buddy up, and it's almost like you, you were kind of back and forth, like you see this coming as the blob encroaching. And uh, you, you're able to just get him up, but then it's going to attack. It's going to make two attacks for a 15 and 10. Against two. Uh, 15, 10. The 15 hits me. Misses. Ten misses. Ten misses. Ten misses. All right, so the as this uh, otherwise like uh, nondescript like uh, unoffensive thing uh, comes at you, you as soon as it touches, you feel like the sting on your skin as you're trying to help your friend up, and that is going to be for uh, four bludgeoning damage as it kind of. Uh, crushes as well as like it doesn't like hit you you know yeah. it, it's just oozing up and as soon as it touches you you feel like compression on you and also burning and for seven acid damage so uh four bludgeoning seven acids there Yeesh. and i'll say it's like on on you guys like it's yeah clearly has a goal the cadaver collector this giant thing it it, it notices it's Collection is starting to turn against it, or at least wake up, and he doesn't like that. So he's gonna start just taking shots at his back, like a like a, a cow swiping flies. So the cadaver collector makes two attacks, and uh, yeah, the next one cool, but this one be just normal. Nice uh, crit. Um, we're gonna say. Uh, this is random, not you two. So, you two. Here you go. <laughs> so, uh, Daniel and Aaron's right characters. Uh, <laughs> you will say you, did you both succeed? 
Do you have no? You both failed? I failed. I, I, who failed? You two? Failed. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. All right, you two. <laughs> As you see your friends like getting up and, and starting to uh, spring to action, you're just uh, struggling. Maybe it's like a, a barb that's like preventing you from easily getting yourself out. Like it's it, it hurts more to like go the other way. So uh, you see all this happening, you're like, God, and you can't do anything, but then here comes this, uh, the arm the size of your whole body with spikes on it, just swiping away and blinding. And uh, one's a crit for... I'm gonna use my reaction. Okay. Um, to roll 1d8 and subtract 1d8 from their attack roll. Okay, the, we'll do the first one. Okay. So the first one crits. Yep. So I'll take, uh, I mean, it's still, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, eight, so it'll be 12 plus, so 22. So minus seven. Yeah. From the attack roll. Oh, it's minus eight. It's 1d8, I just rolled, so minus seven. Oh, 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 yeah. okay. So 23. Okay. So 23. Uh, Is it the damage or the attack roll? The attack roll. I was trying to lower the attack roll, but I have to do it before he determines if it hits or not. Ah, uh, okay. <clears throat> so, crit nullified, so just normal damage. Uh, that is 18 bludgeoning. To who? For Bober Kids. Clayton's character. Okay. 18 bludgeoning. Jesus. I'm gonna die before I can do anything. So that would've, yeah. That would have killed you if I hadn't. Yeah, yeah I would have been dead. <laughs> And again, <laughs> yeah. bullshit because an eight necrotic as this you, you feel it's it's very dirty. This thing, oh. yeah, it's it's dirty. covered in rock and corpses and, and disease and maggots and all, all nonsense. So it doesn't just like hit you, it like infects you. Every every single contact this thing makes is disgusting. And then the second one, uh, plus uh, 20, 22 to hit. Yeah, that hits. Okay, uh, same thing. Eight, uh, eight bludgeoning and eight necrotic. I'm having necrotic because you all know that. <laughs> That's it for its turn. It's uh, it's not gonna. I mean, it is moving. It's, it's just trying to get you off. So move on. I took bigger damage than you because I remember the crit. No, it wasn't. Ata ata ata. <laughs> Uh, so we're like sticking on this dude's back? Yes. Everyone who did not, who, everyone who hasn't succeeded yet is stuck to the cadaver collector. Can, uh, and there's other cadavers around us. Can I push off of one of those cadavers to try and push myself up? Like off? Uh, where am I, where, where are we at on the deck? You said you succeeded? No, I couldn't. Okay, so you're still stuck. Yeah. Like impaled. Oh yeah, oh shit, I'm a pill. Yeah, you're right. So push off. See if I can push myself. Okay, yeah, go uh strength check. Or uh, athletics. Athletics. Oh god. And it's fifteen? It's like oh, eleven. Eleven! Ah! <laughs> Unfortunately you're still stuck to to the monster. I did it. You're gonna need maybe one of your friends to help you up or help. I'm falling and I can't get up. Alright, so that if you uh if uh okay that's unfortunately that's that's a good shot um wait, it's good. well after that hit i now know intrinsically that i cannot remove myself without dying <laughs> <laughs> so i will just have to sit there and do nothing just hit it from where you are <laughs> <laughs> you just wait I mean, you I can attack can we yeah, yeah. Not. like i imagine if you, even if you're impaled you got a knife no, I've got crossbow. Oh, oh I've got hand crossbow. crossbow. Just yeah, yeah, I'm like, eh. <laughs> I'll uh, go, ahead. go ahead. Okay, yeah, I'll attack. I guess. Let's see here. So that'll be three attacks. Jesus, sorry. That's an 18, a 30, oh, Jesus. and a 26. Oh, and, yeah, all okay. yeah. All right, so that's going to be. In the first shot, I'm going to expand. 18 was the lowest, right? Yeah, that was yeah, the lowest. Yeah. 11. You hear just groaning. So that's 
36 damage off of that. Woo! And then I'm gonna bonus action and fire one more shot. This one's gonna be a trip attack. I'm gonna try to like ricochet a shot off of its thing. Oh, a trip. <laughs> a trip. It, it's one of my battle master maneuvers. So you're trying to trip it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All it does is fall. It's, shoot, it, shoot a toe or something? Yeah, it, like it ricochets yeah. off, hits in the knee just like right, you, and it falls prone. Yeah. <laughs> Give a shot. Take my shot. Give a shot. <laughs> All right. Well, it didn't work. That was a natty. Well, yeah, that was a nat one. Oh shit. Well, that one didn't. That one missed. Oh well. It's better. It did. <laughs> <laughs> Still stuck. Uh, man, I, it's like I need. Uh, I wish I had your character names floating over your head so I could like. See. <laughs> uh, so Clint's character. Oh, boom. The Vaughn, right? Vaughn? Yeah, Vaughn. I remember it. Okay. Vaughn, yes. <laughs> uh, looking like a badass, actually. He's, he's making some good shots, but he's just still stuck to this thing. Yeah. Uh, Aaron. I'll try to get myself off. Mm, it's gonna hurt. Uh, no, nine. <laughs> Oof. Nine? Uh, nine fails. But you don't take piercing damage. You're, you're just stuck. Uh, yeah, I'm still stuck. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, any attacks? Can you do anything for me? Or you, that was your, never mind. That never mind. was, that was your, that was my, your. my thing was, yeah. Uh, okay, Mark. I'm like, brothers! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm like, ah. Uh, it's like, you. Um. What's your name, man? What's your name? I know, this is Manzar. Bro, one shot Man fire. Mentor. Manzar. Manzar. I got you. He's been lost there a while. <laughs> and I just make an attempt to pull him off. Mm. <laughs> Alright, well, um. What did I say last time? Uh, you said take. Add five to Ur. Well, um, well, he just pulled me off, so you yeah, just, just do it. Jump the athletics. Ah, uh, yes. Um. 15. Hey! Successfully ripped off your prong, taking six piercing damage. Thanks, friend. <laughs> Ouch. Little blood. <laughs> Drop to an eight. Mm. That's blood. <clears throat> Is that my blood? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, nice. Uh, Dino. Uh, am I sh I'm not attached to the guy at all, right? I'm just sitting on the ground. If you succeeded, let's say you are off your prong. And you are now free. You're free to move, but uh, if you were to just like, you know, just, like just let go, it would be like one like, like, specific like, like, say. So it's say that far. Let's say maybe you know, like you're walking in my head. <laughs> you're still that high up. Yeah. Uh, free though. Okay. Can I? How close am I away from the neck? The Ooh. Dead area? Uh, well, uh, top half. So, but you're on the back, so it would be like, you could, you could... Can I, I can move, what, yes. five feet up and then go from there? Absolutely. We'll say you have enough movement and this thing is distracted enough where you can easily, not easily, but I mean, you, you can make it there. Mm -hmm. Crawling over corpses and, and using uh, the prongs coming out as anchors. Yeah, yeah, so I'm going to climb up to the neck area uh, where it's at, and I'm going to pull out my dagger, uh, and we're going to stab it in the neck. Yeah. Go ahead. To 26 to hit. Whoa! With six damage. Six. Uh, you are able to. This thing is clad with armor. It is not, uh, you know, well thought out armor. It's just a bunch of metal, uh, iron chunks, maybe from other adventurers' armors, like mm -hmm. just kind of piecemeal together. And uh, you you see a kink and it's like just perfect and you're able to get in there and I'll say just because of the, the great idea you had whatever six damage is lame so what's well, so the do you get you your sneak attack because we all are nearby yeah we're all Ooh. yeah Ooh. yeah roll that sneak attack yeah yeah, sneak sneak attack. Attack. yeah yeah as long as you have an ally within five feet you get sneak attack um, so it has to be a finesse or range weapon though. The dagger's not really finesse. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. And ranged. You can throw them. Like the, that's the main dagger okay. weapon. That's the main right. weapon. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> Nikki, Nikki, stand, stand. Is it 46 or? 76. Yeah, yeah. 76. Yeah, he's, like, he's all a rogue. There we go. 
Yeah. There's that damage. Because you only like get a, a, a neck hit? Come on, yeah. Let's yeah, see. and you only get one attack per turn unless you do a bonus action. So yeah, you, you pump that damage into one. Yeah, I'm just doing oh, 20 more damage. So, okay. 20, yeah, so see, the total is 27, yeah. 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 There you go. There you go. And then uh, with my bonus action, I'll do Ghost Walk. Ooh. So I become a flying uh, aberration or spectral form of myself. Oh my god. And I can hover. Uh, I have a flight speed of 10. And my attack rolls, uh, or any attack rolls against me are disadvantage. And I can move through any creature or object um, if they're difficult terrain. If they're difficult terrain. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I can stay in this form until 10 minutes until, or until I want to again. So I'm going to uh, stab it in the neck and then I'm going to like push off and I'll change into a spectral version of myself and I'm going to float around. Not even here. <laughs> Not even here. See you guys later. You didn't yeah. see anything. <laughs> now there's only six. Sorry about your net wounds. That's awesome. That's fucking cool. Right. right. That's one of the re- like. That was one of the reasons why I'm going with this because like you get up there. That's just a really good way to have as a rogue. So. Hell yeah. yeah. So yeah, sneak attack. Always. Uh, <laughs> so that goes through. Uh, and I gave you extra damage because that that is cool. That's that's a great idea. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, to Daniel, Josh, my turn. So uh, I know this is low magic, but I did sports to it, and I um, I want to attempt to cast erupting earth, which is a twenty foot cube, Ooh. but I want to position it in a way that it doesn't hit anybody on his back. It is going to like I imagine he's like a huge yeah. creature. Yeah, so I want to do Erupting Earth. So uh, I'm on the ground. Uh, I just got helped out. Uh, he's like, kind of gets stock of what's happened. And he takes his hands, slams him onto the ground, and you just see this kind of ripple, like a tremor. And all of the, in the 20 foot cube in front of me, all of their dirt just goes in a fountain straight up into this dude's, like, you know, groin area or whatever. Um, which just completely covers him and then goes and sucks back in, trying to pull him down into the ground as all the dirt is loosened up, hopefully re- bringing everybody down to ground level where they can more easily get off. And he takes... Well, that's awesome. Go ahead and make the con uh, check first. Okay. Uh, you can use the master or the one in front, the master's cleaner in our room. Oh, Bella's in there though, but I'll let her out. Uh, it's just- it's just What's the DC? Uh, the front, the front one. What's the front DC? Fifteen. No, what did I say? What did I say? That was ten or something like that. If it's ten, it's ten. I said something in the. Yeah, I can work. With I that. think I raised it a little bit. It was in. It's like thirteen. What you had in Discord was. You had succeeded DC thirteen. Thirteen. Do not succeed. Then. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna say if you want to <laughs> try advantage, everybody can start with inspiration. So if you want to re-roll, okay. You can use that now if you want to. I will use my inspiration. I mean, that's pretty. That's a big move. Uh, that does succeed up to a uh, fourteen. There we go. Okay. The gods smile upon you. Uh, that way, and the door on the right. Pass the cat box. <laughs> cat. <laughs> so you can use the cat box. I just said. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, cool. <laughs> no, not yet. <laughs> I actually haven't. No. <laughs> Just wait, you will. <laughs> okay, so it is a DC 15 deck saving throw. Okay. Failure is 24 damage. Uh, 24 bludgeoning damage. Yeah, but the star is he's stuck. Yeah. <laughs> Stuck and hopefully lowered so other, everyone else can get off easier. Four plus not quite Yeah. He's uh that's oh yeah. So all that shit you said happens. Uh, uh I almost said Mando, you're not Mando. Uh <laughs> where are those guys? Porter. <laughs> Porter <laughs> does his uh earth eruption and uh everyone is already kind of feeling the the, the bounding uh, before it stopped and, and then he started swiping, taking taking shots at himself. And then the earth erupts underneath him, and again you feel rumbling. And those of you who are still stuck, uh, impaled, like ow, 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 and the kids like to dig a little bit more. Uh, in fact, everyone who's still stuck, just for shit of it, one piercing damage just from the you're being shaken on this uh, thing. But 
just like you said, uh, as soon as the spell completes, I, I even want to flavor it like uh, I'm gonna, I want to flavor your uh, inspiration save as like you really tried to cast it and it, oh fuck, it's not working, and you just like like real hard, <laughs> yeah. concentrated. So to to canonize it, you're the first one to notice. Why isn't my magic working? Great. Because we'll say when you were in Barovia for your whole career, is there no hindrances on magic? Everything's fine. Uh, everything worked as it should be. You're in a new place now, and you're like, "What? Why? Why? <laughs> why did that not just work?" <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So then, as my bonus action, I'm going to do another con save because I want to try and healing word play in this character. <laughs> there we go. There we go. I'm down to three. Uh, let's see. Save again. Natural. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that was a seven. But That's still okay. I've, I've, I've looked at my character sheet a little bit more. I, I have solutions now. <laughs> uh, but then I. We also have this ooze next to us, right? Yeah. Well, on him. I used my bonus action, so I guess that's all I can do. Uh, I'm still in melee range. That's my okay. Uh, but you don't have to expend a spell slot, though. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Nice. So, uh, this thing isn't undead, is it? Make a. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll. I guess I'll find out. Oh, okay. Or I can do that. I guess if it doesn't take an action. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Don't cost none. All right. Yeah, I'll do that. Um, that's a nineteen. It's not alive. <laughs> okay. But but you have just spent a lot of time. With undead, mm -hmm. something is different about this. We'll take damage like an undead. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> All, right. All right. Well, so after so after you do your spell and pull it down and erupt the ground, uh, I look up and I let a volley of like three shots go uh, with my two crossbow. Uh, that's probably not gonna hit. That's a um, thirteen. Yeah. Thirteen misses. Um, that is a eight or eighteen. Eighteen hits. And then that's uh, a twenty-seven or twenty-six. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so all crossbows, like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and then on the so on two of them, uh, it's gonna be a. Uh, six and five damage, okay. and then it's gonna take. Well, is it undead? Because I roll more dice than it is. So, how would you, how would your character know? Is it a difference? Well, it's just whether or not how much damage it takes. It takes um, an extra one d eight damage if it's undead. Okay, so you're you're very familiar with your weapons. You yeah. you know your ammo. You maybe you even make your ammo. I don't know. Yeah. Like, how deep are you? Like. You yeah. Know. yeah. Yeah. So, you you are you know what's supposed to happen. Yeah. When it when it hits, if it's undead, and it's, it's not happening. So, okay. Cool. It is taking damage. Okay. So it's gonna take. And uh, so yeah, so it's gonna take. Um, I'm like losing track. Did, were you were, did you were you keeping track of what I said before? Yeah, it's already, already two hits. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So then it's gonna take um, on the first one. It's going to take uh, thirteen uh, radiant damage, and okay. then it's gonna take another nine radiant damage. If if it's undead. So it would have taken even more radiant damage. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, Two attacks sorry. hit. Gotcha. What's the second number you said just now? Uh, th yeah. Uh, yeah, nine. Thirteen and nine. Woo! Damage. Damn, nice. y'all! Amazing. Mucho spicy! <laughs> I thought y'all would be less of a bit. No, that's awesome. Uh, move on to the monster. The ooze first. So, it, uh, let's see. You're, uh, you're kind of like making cool moves, swinging on the... Or, uh, no, this is... You didn't move, right? You were where you were. I say where I was, yeah. The ooze is going to attack again. Yeah, my die. <laughs> <laughs> As it makes two attacks, uh, but it's going to be one and one. So one against. Ooh, uh, probably uh, plus four. It's a hit. Yeah, uh, that's a, well, a six and a fourteen. 
Mrs. Does that mean anybody? No, no Mrs. Nice. So the ooze uh, means, no, you know, it's just oozing. <laughs> <laughs> oozing for a bruising. It, uh, your cool moves with the, the shooting and everything, we're, I'm going to say you were able to like uh, do some like acrobatics uh, to even make those things happen. So just doing that got you, you know, not out of opportunity attack for reasons, but, you know, just you were able to avoid the ooze damage. We were flavored that way. As the cadaver collector, again, he's stuck in the ground now, and he doesn't quite understand what's happening. So, in, instead of hitting himself, he's tired of these parasites <laughs> climbing all around him. He is going to use a legendary action, even though it's on his turn. And, uh, what's it called? When it's, when it's, yeah, whatever. He's gonna do a quick, like a dog, Shaking the water off and just get everybody off. So uh, that is going to send everyone flying off, unless you want to stay there for whatever reason. Or if you're and still stuck. And you so, just see Wendell sitting there, you just want to go to Swarm Book Connect. That's true, you better figure it Everyone, let's see. Uh, everyone who's free, you have the opportunity to make a dex save if you want to stay on this thing. Those who are still pinned to it, uh, that's going to be an automatic shuffle, and <laughs> you're going to take the piercing damage as you fly off. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> no specific direction, just like like I said, dog shaking the water off, and everyone uh, in different directions around it. So uh, don't worry about that. Just now, this thing is stuck in the ground. I'm going to say it's like up to his knees. Enough to where it's not easy to get out. And it has shaken everybody off. And you're all near it. Yeah, that 20 foot cube is all difficult terrain. Nice. So if you if you fell in down, you would also be in difficult terrain. Yeah. We'll set it. Okay. But that's it. That's it for him. He he blows his wad doing that. Did we take uh, did you take damage flying off of him, or? Yeah, yes. okay, he, he took the six, and I won't do bludgeoning from the fall. We'll just say you're close enough because of what uh, not man did. Okay. And <laughs> and uh, I most oh, yeah, got some potions. Got a bunch of potions. Okay. Can I just shove one down your throat? Probably. So there we go. Throw it. Throw it. <laughs> so yes. Uh, I, did you try to stay on, or were you fine leaving the thing? Uh, I wanted to stay on. Oh shit! Okay, dex save. Nice. nice. Fifteen. Okay. Stay on. I went really on the There you go. I said I'm not done. I am. I got eight. <laughs> 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 I'm actually reading this. <laughs> got a bunch of holes. So not big deal. I mean, nobody who's being shuffled off uh, has to take it. So. Okay. There's that. So uh, yeah, you thought you were gonna stay on maybe for one more move? And, uh, I mean, it's like a house shaking, not so. Nope. Nothing. Baba Yaga house. Yeah. Size. Uh, so, um, you are now on the ground. Aya. Uh -huh. And what do you do? I'm going to dash. Can I dash on, on him to his neck? You don't have to. Uh, so. well, oh, to get up to his neck? Yeah, to get up to his neck. Mm. So you want to use all your movement to get that close? Uh, I can take it as a action. Cunning action. Yeah. Dash. Or cunning. Right, go for it. Okay. Yeah. Well, the check won't be your turn. We'll say that just was on his turn. Okay. Yeah. All right, so then I'm going to do that. Mm -hmm. And then I have That's a weird, because I've seen some say bonus action, and then I've seen others that say action. Like you do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like gonna... Baraka, <laughs> or, 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 maybe. And I want to, where the wound, the wound that he did. At the yeah, neck. The neck. Yeah. Where exactly was it? Uh, well, so like I said, there's like plate armor for, for yeah. effectively, and he just the the monster was able to he just like moved a certain direction or whatever. And just perfect move, got up in there. You'll notice there is a black substance coming out of the wound that is not blood. It's like mixing with the actual blood. It's all over. But this thing is not bleeding blood. Okay. Nobody makes my team down. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wanted to, I wanted to stab his neck and. Fucking spinal cord? Yeah. <laughs> Go for it. Yeah, try. Yes. 
Yeah. Don't know if he has one, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever. To hit? Yeah, to hit. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this, this is for this is my dagger. You doing? <laughs> I'm sorry. Your dagger. 17. To hit? Yeah. Yeah, no, 17 hits. Right, so. And. Because we're nearby, I could add the that. Sneak right. attack. That sneak, sneak attack. attack yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you saw where Daniel's character got at it, and you're like, there's my bitch. You're <laughs> going after it. Uh, I'm going to give you, like, go ahead and uh, take advantage as well for smart thanking. All right. That's our rule again. Yeah, roll that. Yeah, see, you're But otherwise, get the sneak in. Uh, yeah. All right, so 21. Also, so just normal, yeah, we're huge. Let's see that. Let's see the check. Okay, I don't know how to do this in the check. Tell me. Wait. Uh, how many D6 at this point? Uh, just go to the, oh, D6. Yeah, go to the features and traits. On my character. Well, no, yeah, hers is probably going to be three. Yeah. She's less of a rogue. Yeah. Four. So, there, and, and your uh, actions or like your, in your feet area, you can see some and that should tell you the number of dice to roll. You should just be able to click it. Oh yeah, it's yeah. The yeah. bottom, it's like its own thing. The bottom yeah. of your actions, yeah. the very bottom, and just say how many. And then, yeah. I mean, rogues should have a special feature on their character sheets. Like, you know, the weapon is it sneaky? Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah. Damage, right? Yeah. It wasn't saying like yeah, under actions at the very bottom. It should say sneak attack and how it should say how many d sixes you add. It doesn't. Is it a actions. question? Because you just get no, all of your D6s. It should be under damage. No. It's just hard to find on them. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's not, it's not, not with obvious. the attacks. You yeah. think it would be with the attacks. It's all the way. In my sheets, all the way at the bottom of actions. It just, no, it doesn't tell me. It what level rogue are you? I'm a late. You're, so I'm level. <laughs> Three D six. I'm five and I'm three D six. Oh, it's per level, huh? No, so no, you no. might be. Yeah, four. four. It's not going to show up. Go to features and traits. Well, it's under actions for me. That's why. I'm well, just... yeah, but it's inherited from features and traits. So go in there and make sure. Uh, <laughs> I went ahead and rolled my death save. Uh, uh, I did. I got an actual twenty. Hey. So, so you pop back up, right? No, you only get two pluses. It's it's two it's two successes. It's a house rule to kind of make yeah. That. It's up to you. Yeah. By by raw, it's it's two successes. One HP. One HP. Uh, well, yeah, that's coming up anyway. So yeah, okay, cool. I'm back up. I like twenties. I like one. <laughs> would I then be able to? I probably would. That's probably my action would be the death. Could I bonus action the second wind? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Oh, huh? That's fine. I'll, I'll get you. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll this makes no like. narrative. Oh, difference. you're healing. Oh, you're yeah. I'm just oh, okay, you're healing. not so. dying. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying, I'm trying to. Not we were at thirty, right? We were at thirty. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but you took a lot from the. Yeah, I took a crit and took everything. Like eighteen. Yeah, I started with 137 HP. I was like, damn, how are you dying? Can I open this bag of life? Yes. Yeah, our max HP. Yeah, I was like, crap. It's a good looking freezer in there. We haven't killed a creature. There goes. Corn dogs, yeah. bites, corn dogs. Because I got another set of features I really kind of want to use because they intertwine with each other. So it's going to be cool to use. God, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Story wise, we're like, have <laughs> this much to go. <laughs> if we need to do another part of this one shot, we could. Yeah, I mean, at some point you just. Kill this guy. And yeah. Oh, it's coming. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I mean, you guys are beating the shit out of him uh, for the level he, he's supposed to be. Yeah. Well, thanks to the road. All right, you breathe on him. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is a this is a CR fourteen. Oh, is it? Creature, yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah, there was seven of us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a shit ton. It wouldn't have been fair if y'all were full health. Okay. Done. Right. <laughs> <Stop, stop, stop. laughs> yeah. Slap. Yep. Trying the good stuff. Which I did before, and I like it. Okay. <laughs> You're welcome. What else were you going to do on your turn? Huh? What else were you going to do? Uh, I'm just going to jump off. Mm-hmm. You got all damage? It's hard. It's hard. Yeah. Uh-huh. Jump's a bonus action. Didn't you bonus action to get up there to hit him? Yeah. Yeah, you've done a lot. Plus, it's, it's like, like, I get two oh. actions in a Jump month. is just part of your movement. Yeah, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's a bonus action in Baldur's Gate. Crap. 
<laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So why did you have to use your bonus second move? Or why didn't you just to dash? Oh, wait, yeah. I think, but he said we're not going to do that. He said you don't have to use it. Oh, okay. Right. For her, the, the one time. Because oh. I thought she was like compensating for difficult terrain or something, but it's like, you don't care. Like, He's down to his knees. He's like, yeah. <laughs> stuck in the ground. Oh, yeah. Okay. Got all the damage. Clayton. Yeah. Alright, yeah, so Clayton, you, you just killed yourself. That's what you got. Yep, I'm done. Alright, where am I going? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, I wasn't going to say I was going to shove a health potion down his throat, but he, he's up and moving now. So he's fine. He's up and moving now. <laughs> he's going to kill us again. So I pull my. Um, I pulled my longbow out and I'm just gonna shoot right where she was stabbing him. Yeah. Just to shoot at the neck. Um, so I'm gonna take a minus five. I was about to say, if you wanna. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. So, uh, 25? Yeah. yeah, yeah, here we go. Alright, and, um, so it's gonna be a sneak attack. So. Uh, plus the 10 for start with right? Yeah, plus 10. <laughs> plus the <piercer. laughs> Alright, here, let's roll this right here. So 11 plus 10 is 21. 21 plus... And Corey. 10 is 32. Um, we'll roll additional damage die. Speaking of hearing yourself. 37. To hit? No, it's 37. Yes. <laughs> yeah. To hit? Fine, <laughs> okay. No, most I can get to the, I can get a 34 to hit. <laughs> That's the most I can get. Yeah. Yeah, sure. I hit and I do 37 damage. Oh, that's all. that was my sneak attack damage. So that, that was my first attack. And then I have my second attack, so I'm just going to roll and break where attack. Um, I may have well, been roll to hit, hit, so here's roll to hit first. Um, so minus five. Sounds like legendary actions. Would it be uh, <laughs> 14? Yeah. He's not the order. 14? Yeah. yeah. 14 misses. Okay. But <clears throat> I'm going to say that you're, because you guys keep hitting the same spot, you as a uh, Lombo. Yeah. Right? So you, you're aiming it, you took your penalty. Yep. You see it, and just like slow motion, everything just stops where you Robin Hood style. The thing looses. Goes straight in, and uh, all this chaos is happening. He's trying to free himself, but you just nail it, and he and the way the arrow hits, it's like it it it, hook, it stops something from moving. And as soon as he gets hit with by your bow, uh, the arrow, this uh, cadaver collector immediately changes uh, demeanor. Just, <laughs> It, it, it has been entered. It's entering a like a broken brain. Uh, okay. <laughs> Severe trauma. Uh, it is now stuck in kind of a loop. It's just it's doing the same motion. Put the potion on that. It's a little sticky. Anyone who is uh, near it is you're immediately you're like oh something's wrong, but it's not coming after us. So yeah, great, great hit. Uh, great. And I'll go ahead and just uh, second win myself too. So nice. All right, Mark. You see this expert shot just taken, and this being is no longer seems like he's trying to attack you guys. It seems like it's broken and it's, it's in a loop. <laughs> okay. Okay, so it's not the enemy anymore. It is the enemy, but it's not. It's not attacking you. Okay. Um. Then. Um, I'm gonna try to attack the uh, little ooze creature. I mean, so okay. That's fine. It's a... So it's so you guys, I would imagine, are down on the ground. Oh, okay, okay. okay. And this thing is stuck in the ground. Neurological damage, and the ooze is on it. Oh, okay, it's not. On... Okay. As you guys have been tearing, and you beat the shit out of this thing, like it's almost actually dead. Uh, parts are coming apart at the seams and then in the the plate. Armor and uh, the ooze is kind of unsure what the surface is anymore. 
and he's going in and out of the corpse guy. He's accidentally hurting the the cadaver collector as he's like, "Where's surface? Where are my bodies?" And so you guys have beat shit out of him. Now he's got nerve damage, and the ooze is slowly melting him from the um, inside. Then I just want to finish. I'll see if I can finish him off. Yeah, just do it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just grab my whip and try to wrap wrap it around the neck and just. Nice. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, with advantage, because he's broken. I was going to try and do something like that, but like come up and whack it. Like whack him all with his head. We'll see what he rolls in then. Yeah. Damn, it's been he's <laughs> mean. Um, so I get three attacks. 13. <laughs> Three attack, it's gonna happen. So six, yeah. You <laughs> you go with your whip statistically it's gonna happen. Uh yeah, go describe it. Yeah. So I'm like I see the bow go in there. Immediately after I just like I'm like Kuh. I just like do a little swirl in my whip, goes around the neck and just yank. I'm like, ah! Yes. Fuck yeah. The head pops off and as it does, just this substance just coming out of it. And you hear the sound of gears like grinding against each other, and before and this makes one long gesture before it, it seems to be writhing, and as it finishes its, its like pose, it and now there's just this statue, for lack of a better term, partially like a the, the Moai <laughs> uh, Easter Island, they're like partially underground, but it is completely lifeless, no no. Movement. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. We should run. <laughs> yeah, so um you as you are kind of taking assessment, everybody's down HP or whatever. Yeah. The uh the thing starts moving and the ooze is yeah, it's a ooze, it's what so <laughs> it just continues uh disintegrating the, the bodies that are left on here. It's not it's no harm to you guys. It's, it's Okay, as this happens, uh, everyone hears <coughs> rustling in the, the, the forest. We're saying this is a forest, and you guys were uh, in a clearing where the battle happens, and you hear rustling in the, in the trees as a, a being emerges, and then another one, and then you realize there are about half a dozen men. They're all guys. They're all male. Standing at least seven foot tall, like minimum, and a little bit taller. They come out of the trees, you hear like a twig snap, and you guys are like adventurers, look like badasses. And uh, we'll say it's just like in your instinct to, you know, any, any noise you hear, you're like ready to pounce. And you see this figure, what kind of shyly uh, uh, shirk away. And before, but they, it seems like they have enough motivation to try to attempt contact, even though they're terrified. But and very humbly, very meekly, even though they're, they they stand above you, they tower above you. But their their body language is very very humble, very very peaceful. They come out all adorned in very plain robes, grayish brown, uh, handmade, nothing fancy about them they they look healthy though they seem really healthy it, it, it's almost like olympians are coming out at you guys and you would expect something so big so powerful to to you know have a bit of a confidence in its step like you know, why wouldn't it but they're just they're very meek they come out and they they uh one reaches out and it seems to leave it like the other ones are kind of nudging him and he's, oh, okay. He, he steps forward and he's, hello. So I'll just start. He's like, Where, who are you? And you see Wendell just come down, like floating <laughs> down on the oh, ground. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they all like huddle amongst themselves. Oh, oh, what is this? They they wince, but they're, they're not so afraid as to bail, but they're like easily. Scared. <laughs> who, who are you? Are you the ones we pray for? They look around. They're, they're, yes. They're... <laughs> <laughs> we are them. Where are we? Oh, and they whisper among each other. <laughs> and they 
they, as they as you ask that, they notice uh, a fine mist begin to dissipate behind all of you in the battle. There was like uh, we're gonna say as soon as you were revived, that was kind of a transition between the mists between the domains of dread of Ravenloft. I don't know if anybody knows how they work, but it's, it's kind of a hop between uh, realms and. Will say you were just spilled onto this one, and so they're aware of what that is. They have seen this. Man, they must be. They said, "Where do you come from to find us here in Lamoria?" Lamoria. <laughs> Barovia. Lamoria. It's kind of like. <laughs> or you talk about you want, doesn't matter. <laughs> are, are we bothering you guys? No, it's funny. No, this is chaos. I don't even care about it. This is funny. Okay, <laughs> it's been a day and a half. <laughs> God. Uh, okay. The leader, for lack of a better term, steps out. And, uh, it's almost like he's crouching to, to be more eye level with you guys. But it's very awkward when he does, because it's obvious like he's almost bending over as he comes over. Uh, like, we believe you have been sent to us to help. Surely this must be, you are the answer. You have what we have prayed for. We, we have prayed that a God would come and save us from this terror. What terror? The wrath of our creator. Who's your creator? <laughs> dun, dun, dun. So, our creator. We are. We have a tormented creator who <clears throat> obsesses over bringing bodies back to life, creating life for whatever reason. We we don't understand it. He has been. Killing us and our brothers. We are creations of this thing. But he is violent beyond recognition, beyond understanding. The madness that this being possesses is immeasurable. We we have been praying for years to be saved. And we were just all here. Well, we're gonna say you guys are in the clearing in the forest. And before you arrived, we were praying and we had just begun to, uh, this is our prayer area. <laughs> we were going to uh, escape because we heard the, the cadaver collector coming and he points over and the thing is still, or no, he's dead now. No, he's dead. <laughs> we're going to say that is his death. He's stuck in that loop. <laughs> and then as soon as we had prayed, you, uh, a bright light appeared on the, the cadaver collector as you all came to life. We saw it from the, the trees. Like, this cannot be coincidence. We, we, this is what we've been praying for. Uh, so... Is the only way out for us to kill this creator? This is the domain of dread, so... <laughs> <laughs> we... Sounds fitting. <laughs> As far as we know, yes, this this area that we in, this land, is controlled by him. He who created us, Adam, and his creator, Dr. Victor Mordenheim, in town. It's it's a bit of a one exists one cannot exist without the other. Now that uh, they are both, he, let me just tell you. <laughs> Okay, this is the land of Lemoria. It was created when the doctor, Victor Mordenheim, tried to bring back his love who had died from, they tried to save her from death, but playing God essentially. And he was kind of successful. Uh, that's what the strange <laughs> part is. He was a, a, able to keep his deceased wife kind of in a stasis and it triggered this need, this obsession 
with experimentation on bodies to try to bring them back from life, to try to cheat death. And his most magnificent creation, proxy our, our creator, Adam, was his most shining achievement. And he turned on the doctor, destroying not only his wife, his laboratory, his research, and continues to haunt the doctor to this day. The doctor will not rest until he has conquered death. And it is, we have been praying for so long, for years, we have a monastery and we know that we believe in the cycle of life. We believe that everything happens in waves and, and vibrations. We, we understand for whatever reason, our contact with our, and our praise uh, to our God, which we, we didn't know of one to pray for. There is no God for what we are. So we just started hoping for something. And it seems like against all odds. And one other guy comes up from behind him. And says, oh, it's, it's trying to like, they're very timid, even though they're, they tower above you. And he said, no, it's okay. And he, he tells you, it's like, we, we believe you are meant to save us. And the only way is to destroy Adam. He is, when he runs out of dead bodies, he makes new ones to experiment on. You have to understand, there are innocent people in our land, women, children, who got trapped here by the hubris of Victor Mordenheim and this creation here. Together they run, they control the domain in, in Lomoria. And we wish, we know this is not right. We know that we can escape. We know the universe is not supposed to work like this. <laughs> We believe you to be our saviors. I see like a flip up to each eye level with them <clears throat> and everything, and he's asked where is Adam and, and the creature. Our creator, our master, our enemy has sacked our monastery that we built. We made we made this place <clears throat> because we could not be accepted in normal society. And with his helpers, we'll say, uh, they drove us all out. The, the caveat here, <laughs> we, although we may seem strong, we, we cannot physically harm Adam for whatever reason. It is a curse, it is a state of this realm. For whatever reason, when we try to defend ourselves, <clears throat> Nothing works. He, he strikes us down. We are all that's left. And he points to his brothers. And there's seven. Uh, please, please, for our sakes, for the sake of all the innocent people in this realm, help us destroy Adam. He must be stopped. Over. <laughs> Don't see any other options. Yeah, so. right. Right. Do we have time for a nap? <laughs> yes. So also known as a short rest. Yeah. Uh, they are going to. You greet it. Go with them. Yeah. And it's three fifteen. So okay. So uh, <laughs> you, you go with them, and um, they take you. We're going to skip the. Damn it! Your shirt's not so relevant now. So, so uh, <laughs> they take you through. Uh, Part of the wilderness that hugs the coast, uh, there's a sea, a violent icy sea, and the monks, the giant monks, they they guide you, uh, and you can see there's a mountain in the distance, and it's uh, morning starting to come up now. The sun's coming up, but again, where you are, uh, the daylight is uh, very muted where you are. Not just because of the weather, you know, it does have like a very Germany in the winter feeling with like Finland, but it's it's more than that. There's something something weird. You know, I see the eclipse the other day. Mm -hmm. you know how weird the light looked yeah, when yeah. it was happening. Like it's just off, right? You can't put your finger on it, but it's like what? It's funny. Um, so you read go, and they tell you tales of horror that Adam has unleashed upon the people, and not only that, but uh, upon the doctor himself, Victor Mordenheim. 
the Adam, the creation, one night attacked Victor recently, and <laughs> because he can't be fully destroyed without Adam also being destroyed, they he beat the uh, the doctor to such a condition that he is now no more than uh, it's brain in a jar. <laughs> it's a brain in a jar. He has a, a constructed body that helps him move around, and his eyeballs are left. But he, that's all. That's all he is. Uh, when he because Adam knows. If he were to destroy the body he's in, the doctor would simply appear in a new body that uh, recently passed away. So uh, he wants to keep him humble and stuck in a way. Not not killing outright because then he would just come back. Same works for Adam. Uh, the doctor cannot kill Adam. Adam cannot kill the doctor. However, they must both perish for this custom to be broken. So, they guide you, and it's too late, <laughs> we're going to be sea wolves. <laughs> it would be cool. Like that. <laughs> they, uh, you see some ravaging uh, a pack of sea wolves as they, uh, uh, you're hugging the coast, and they, they seem to bark and howl, and they, uh, while they're in the water, ferocious. Oh my god, the, 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 the wave is crashing. <sighs> you said werewolf, right? You're, you're probably werewolf. So, you definitely... Oh, okay. So they're like, but white. And terrifying. As everyone uh, flinches as they seem to breach, they go to the beach. As soon as they make land, they have the, the back half is just a seal. So <laughs> they're... <laughs> <laughs> so it's like all ferociousness, and they barely can move. Oh, the good thing we aren't swimming. Yeah. Well, you're supposed to be on a ship. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, okay. so uh, you notice that... Not worth fighting. <laughs> Move on. Wouldn't it be cool? Uh, we head to, as you head closer to the monastery, uh, the monks are telling you more and more of their home and what it's like there. They have been in, uh, again, prayer is the only thing they have because they can't fight. They, they physically cannot fight the thing that hurts them. It, for the rules in this place. They also have tried to, the, the forest you guys were in, this is a frequent place where the mists come and go and drop people, take people, you know, drop them in from Barovia, like you, or a different, uh, or uh, Rotten Realms, they, they, it's a it's a frequent hotspot for new arrivals. <clears throat> Mostly, <clears throat> they just get corpses, and then they, ha they have to watch those corpses be turned into either something that's going to hurt them or maybe another brother, a new brother. Uh, but now they bring you and they tell you that we uh, we know that he's in our monastery and he's kicked us out. <laughs> we we have to find Dr. Mordenheim before we go. O otherwise it won't work. He'll just come back. So they kind of guide you and uh, they're going to bring you to Schloss Mordenheim. This is the home of Dr. Mordenheim. And it is a a manor that is, I mean, mansion is a, an adequate word, but like really, like not like a North Texas mansion, like a, like a real one. Like an estate. <laughs> uh, nice one. An estate. An estate <laughs> with servants, a full staff. And uh, they have clearance. You'll notice that that, they're very timid behavior around you guys, and as you enter town, they are really sticking to the shadows as much as they can. Except it's all. And uh, so, like, if um, average citizen were to come up, uh, you guys wouldn't catch much attention, but they would, or they think they do. It's like they're very self-conscious. You know, they oh, they're all looking at me. It's like no one's looking at you. Come out. But uh, <laughs> so. Anyway, they, they bring you to Schloss Mordenheim, finally. And, uh, yeah, and the servants welcome you. As you come into the main receiving room, you are given, um, we'll say the short rest happened on the way. So you get a short rest. You get a short rest. Cool. Also, the monks, because they know they need you, uh, after We'll say maybe three hours has passed during this time. You have all this conversation. Uh, any questions you would have asked during this time? Mm -hmm. 
to the we'll just like speed through. Any any questions so far? Um how much time does it take once a body has been once either Adam or the doctor has been killed before they resurrect into their body again? This is completely dependent on the procedure and the person doing it. Uh, there is a it's not it's not magic. We look for magic. We hope for magic. We hopefully you guys are magic. We every day we pray for something to intervene here, but this is pure science. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever either Adam or the doctor get their bodies, uh, it just depends on their mood as, as far as how long it takes. They they already have the operation set up. We fear that Adam is using our monastery to create like a new his laboratory, a new laboratory, because he's tired of living in the shadow of Dr. Morton. So it just depends. It could be instant if they have everything set up and the lightning's charged and everything. <laughs> Ah, so there's some sort of process that we could potentially interrupt. Yes. It is a it is a process. It is a procedure. Now, and I'll add on to that, that his question. Uh, do they have to be killed at the exact same time or just within a ah, certain amount of time? We have never seen it happen, obviously. It's we're we're stuck here. We have seen both of them die. <laughs> We, uh, adventurers like yourselves have shown up and we, again, we, we have done this before. I'm sorry if we have sped through any of this narrative, but we, <laughs> <laughs> we, you're not the first group of adventurers we've tried. Let's get a little tired of shit. <laughs> it's okay. We pissed. We, Just we could skip intro. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, it's, uh, yes, we, it has to be, yes, in the, in the same battle because we've seen, one die, and uh, the next, the, you know, uh, the next day, the other dies. But then it's like the other one's already back. It's it's a Ouroboros. So, so within a couple minutes, I would say yes. Like around okay. three minutes and thirty-five seconds. Yes. Okay. <laughs> three minutes and thirteen seconds. Well, so we know it's a brain in a jar. So we keep, let's uh, let's take the brain with us and go fight the other thing, we drop the other thing, and we just stab the brain at the end. I, yeah. Yeah. Or we throw the brain at Ah, uh, yeah, there we go. We kill them with each other. Yeah. <laughs> Beat them to death with a brain. <laughs> uh, we killed know, weirder monsters. Do you know where the brain is now? So, yes, you're talking like this in, in the receiving room. Uh, excuse me, do you know where the brain is now? You, you say that, and before they can answer, they, you hear something uh, clunky <laughs> coming downstairs. Oh, like, hello! Clank, 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 clank. And it's your motors and gears clank, 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 clank. Oh, no one told me we have visitors. This is fantastic. Clank, 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 clank. <laughs> and you see, like, just it's just metal rods sticking out, and there's a literal brain in a jar <laughs> on top and with eyeballs outside of the brain jar looking at you and the eyeballs <laughs> you know there's no eyelids so it's fully like all the time full you know uh looking around very very off-putting but you see the the children of Adam, the, mon the monks uh they don't flinch so much they're just like there he is <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> he's gross uh so it comes down in a how wonderful to receive you all <laughs> And he's like trying to, he's not trying to be weird, it's just he's, he can't control his body. <coughs> May I offer you some drinks? And he like, he makes a gesture, knocks over some, some glasses, the servants rush over to pick up the glasses. And I'm oh, sorry about that, I'm not myself lately. Hey, pleased to meet you. And he'll like, jut out his hand, but let's say it like pokes one of these so hard, it like, take like one fingers again, whatever. <laughs> and he's not being, oh, oh. Bunch of fingers! <laughs> so, uh, very disjointed person. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. As, uh, please, drinks, 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 please. And, uh, his servants bring out drinks. Now, for everyone who wants to imbibe in these potions, their drinks, uh, do we all cheers? <laughs> okay, he's like, well, new friends calls for cheers, of course, huh? And he'll, like, 
it, when he reaches out to cheers, he spills all of the drink. Like, <laughs> all of it. But he'll he'll throw it back, and when he when he does the take a drink, <laughs> he just throws it. Pour it into his jar. Yeah, right? <laughs> uh, so, uh, that happens. So, if you drink this, uh, it is going to, we'll do like a long rest benefit. So, full HP, uh, full everything. And we're back, baby! <laughs> so, you, see, you see what he'll take it and he just downs it. On one go. Hell yeah. <laughs> Slow down like nothing. Well, he doesn't s- smash the glass. He's a little bit more, you know, put together so in the back. So he can just Yeah. Yeah. Just back as a real person. <laughs> but he does, you know, shoot back. Yeah. No, no, I think uh, Men in Black, the, the yeah, roach guy who takes over the skin suit. I've got some chains and manacles. We can just tie them off. Yeah. And then we can just more remove his head from his body. More. Well, I can trip him. <laughs> Just take the jar off. Let's see. Disarm Carry. Disarm his head from his body. <laughs> so, yeah, he's a. Uh, so, what, what all brings you here? Oh, hello. Hello, monks. <laughs> what is, did Adam kick you out again? No, we uh, got the monks' prayers. The monks' prayers? Oh, yeah. fuck. Who are you praying to? <laughs> like, does anyone to pray to? <laughs> There's only science! <laughs> and, like. <laughs> Lightning strikes outside when he says that. <laughs> Science! <laughs> There's no gods here. You are Lamornia. There's only the scientific method. No magic's here. Uh, what? Uh, so they prayed you here? That doesn't make sense. I don't buy it. Uh, surely something else is going on. But where do you come from? What is this? We come from uh, another domain, Dread, Barovia. Barovia! <laughs> so you're no shot, my friend! <laughs> <laughs> Heard of him, yeah? No. <laughs> got to get, I got to talk to him. Not <laughs> it's like, what would I need for him? Oh, my body! My body's gone! That's right. Oh, I always forget. It's just, again, it's just eyes. <laughs> And his, uh, it's like a, a mechanical voice box. To speak and spell. Almost <laughs> almost like a old school uh, chime that you uh, twist up a kid's toy. And it, ping, ding, 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 it like plays a song. So it's that, but like in real time, he's making it sound like words. So it's crazy. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, so... <laughs> For him, this is like, again, this is not new. So it's like, oh, I suppose you're going to try to kill Adam again. Well, I made him real tough. <laughs> so good luck. And, uh, and the, the monks are kind of like, they're, <laughs> you know, they, they, this is all, everything. To them. It's very important. They, it's their livelihood or life. And the doctor treats everything as like a, a project, um, uh, experiment. It's all just, everything's theoretical. Even if you finish the, the experiment, he still considers everything, eh, it's just an, a variable that may have happened, should happen here, somebody died, whatever. Like he doesn't experience empathy or pain or death the same way like you should. Like most people should. So it's completely alien, uh, the notion of saving someone just to save them because it's the right thing to do. That doesn't make sense. Like, to him, that doesn't make sense. So, does uh, Adam have any weaknesses? Weaknesses? Oh, well. Depends on his mood. Uh, last time I saw him, he had augmented my already perfect design and stuck a bunch of like needles in him. I don't know. It looked very weird last time he, he came here and stole my bodies. By the way, he owes me bodies. <laughs> he like looks at everyone. Could you give me bodies? And he starts actually. Could I give me bodies? Could you be bodies? And he starts looking at you. Uh, at your. Uh, he's unfortunate that he he sees it as your. We'll say like you're finishing your drinks at this point. Yeah, yeah. So he's like, and he can. Uh, he sees the shape you were in. So at the first of that conversation, he's like, "Ooh, bodies." <laughs> but as you drink and you're like, "Ooh, everyone's strong again." He's like, "Oh, this is tough." <laughs> are there are there any like uh, 
Does it look like anyone around us is like armed? Like they would be competition no for us? Okay. So we can do that. Okay. Okay. We were just, I'm just gonna, we were just. Just pull the eyes off the jar. Yeah. All right. We just, we'll just take the jar. Uh, oh, just take the whole jar. Just, yeah. Just oh, or, the, or, take the jar or, or the body. we just take the brain out of the jar. Well, he might die. Might, die. The jar's yeah. not giving him a life. Oh, well, he might okay. automatically die. So, the problem, problem is, if you kill him, he just poofs and reincarnates. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, but does he reincarnate right. and have body? No, it's a, it's a, somebody who has just died. Somebody random or someone close by? So, we need to figure out if the body is giving him a life. Uh, Dogma? Dogma? <laughs> so, what Dogma. if we. <laughs> and, and this is Wendell just thinking out loud. What if we killed Adam and then killed the doctor and the doctor reincarnated into Adam? Do we get the impression that the body is keeping them alive? Well, we have to kill them at the same time. If we do it at the same time within one round, then they, they're dead. There's like dead. processes and functions. And the whole yeah. apparatus has so to be it's together. together. It's, okay. it's like one yeah, yeah. thing. So we can't think of it. All right, well. Yeah, let's, uh, while, while he's he's uh, distracted, talk, uh, I pull out manacles. <laughs> and, uh, I'm going to attempt a hog time. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so we're doing this. Okay. Where's uh, Where's Adam right now? In the monastery. Well, for, they think he's in the monastery. Right. Um, do you want to come see Adam with us? I, don't, I mean, it's been a while. What, you're going to try to kill him? I guess you need me too for that. <laughs> yes, I know all about it. <laughs> and then Wendell looks over uh, to the doctor and says, like, Yeah, but... Uh, you're gonna need to go too. You know, die, and then you okay with that? I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, we need to put these on. Okay. Question: um, I've got the spell Gentle Repose, which okay. is, which essentially takes a dead body and like puts it in a stasis <laughs> for a certain period of time. Okay. So if we killed though. him, could I use that? to prevent him from resurrecting. Mm, I don't want to just, uh, It's not gonna work. All right. He will, as soon as you, is kind of dead, it's boom, he's, oh, he's over here now. Like uh, old Peter Townsend, why did I use Peter Townsend? Uh, any other name is down the street <laughs> and dies. He just like, it, where, it, and it's funny, cause like you'll be, uh, Alcoholic. Let's say you're an alcoholic man. Uh, you have a family, though. You're uh, mid forties, and you just are tired of living in a domain of dread because it wouldn't be. And you're not getting paid anything to go to the the factory every day to create machines for the doctor. You're tired of life, and you've just been breathing in the smoke from the industrial smoke this, your whole life. Started work when you were eight years old, <laughs> and he's like, "Ugh, fuck it." And then one night he just drinks so much and just like falls into a gutter in the freezing cold on his way home, dies, three seconds later, Victor Mordenheim, still drunk from this guy's alcohol, throws up like all the toxins, enough to keep him alive, just because of the twisted fate. And he's like, oh, oh, fuck. So he always appears in a new body. So. Oh, okay. So whatever Victor Mordenheim might have looked like at one point, who, who knows? It's gone. So these guys that came with us are the last seven bodies, right? No, they're just the townspeople. Well, no, they're they, they, they said they were the zone. last seven living people. Oh, but the special thing about these idiots, as you can see, and they, he points to them. By the way, he's very short. So like Brandon Jar, he's like maybe uh, you know five, five, maybe five six or something, mm-hmm. like. Uh, and the in the jar is a good amount of that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and these idiots, and he like he slaps one. Uh, these are created by I, I didn't make this. This is uh, I can do much better, right? You know, like nut check one. <laughs> like these, <laughs> this is shoddy work. This is just not. And they're all so good. And they're always wanting to help people. It makes no sense. <laughs> so. D- do they reincarnate? Um, you say that out loud. Yeah, I guess that's, yeah. The one of the brothers who hasn't spoken yet, he'll. Uh, this one has a special like red uh, belt, not really belt, you know, the rope that holds it, and he'll say, "Brother," he kind of motion to him. He'll step forward. And he'll say, uh, "For for us, we seem to be cruelly the the only." Variable of this equation of their experiment that suffers. We, we die instantly. 
They try to kill us, and of course, we, uh -huh. but we we try to kill them. We can't hurt them. We we feel like we, so we stop trying. We stop trying to attack. We used to be dozens, and we keep dying. We, we just can't do anything. So we turn to prayer, and we we hope to our God, whatever His name is, <laughs> that You are the answer to that. We we feel like you, there's a good chance this time. But no, we don't come back. We die. Okay. 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 So we could kill everybody in this realm, and then nobody will be able to resurrect anymore. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well. Well, there, there's other towns. But people. then there's bodies. And there's other people that have been coming from other other areas. Like we got dragged from another our realm to mm. this realm. Yeah, that's right. There's other people from other realms. Okay. That are just living in the dragon. <laughs> so if they get killed, it does. Uh, like either way, so that includes them offing them own selves to to try and escape and get into a fresh new body. Ish. So is there less a way that we can just a hundred percent disintegrate bodies as we kill them? To prevent that? Hi. <laughs> you say that out loud. All seven brothers. <laughs> Fire, where, where? <laughs> <laughs> I check around to make sure nothing's burning. Okay. Okay. Just set fire. Just set fire. Just set it. There's no, there's no actual fire. <laughs> okay. Clue! Anyway. So you're afraid of it. <laughs> <laughs> Insight <laughs> check. <laughs> uh, ask the doctor, um, were there really more than seven of them? Oh, of course. They had like a whole, uh, Elementary school going on over there. <laughs> I pull out. Uh, uh, he has a whiteboard. Cause he's a professor. Uh, chalkboard, I guess. It's not the markers. He wheels out his <laughs> chalkboard and he'll show you. He draws out an isometric uh, gridded map of <laughs> the monastery, <laughs> and it's in a, a cliffside. And you would have noticed this mountain. Uh, there's not, there's, as far as physical features, geographic, it's like there's a, there's a sea, clearly a sea, a violent icy sea. The town proper, which is, imagine, you know, Victorian-ish, like you guys dressed for. And then, uh, the mountain. The mountain's very intimidating. It's like, it looks like the end of the world. Like, there's, how could you get past it? It's just so insurmountable. Uh, so, they... He says, I'm oh, sorry, what was the question? Were there really more than Yeah, there was really more of them. Sorry, he's running the isometric. And it's huge. It, this is a three story monastery with different living spaces, you know, uh, whatever. He describes it to you. And, you know, he said, oh, yeah, they used to be dozens. And uh, one will step forward and say, there were 39 of us. Total. At one point. Oh. This is like genocide light. It's no big deal. <laughs> Our brothers. Well, yes. Yes. Uh, I'm sure you have seen many bodies in your day. You guys look like strong adventurers. We, we do. When we were created, we do not have recollection of, of these bodies that compose what we are now. They. They don't come with memories. <laughs> we we were uh, fresh into this world, and we don't know the violence. We don't understand it. What drives Victor? What drives Adam? They hate each other. They hate themselves. They hate everyone around them. We only want peace. It's all we want. That's why we stopped trying to fight. We had lost uh, 32. <laughs> 32 of our brothers. <laughs> And this is after years of battling, and we just, we're like, this isn't going to work. So we turned to prayer. And, and then you showed up. And then Wendell sits there and he's like, why, if you can reincarnate, why did you choose this body? No, no, no. So. They can't. They can't. They didn't. No, no, no. I'm talking about yeah, Victor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he. So. 
Ah, oh, well, of course I would not have chosen this. <laughs> I, I could not choose this if I wanted to. When I reincarnate, it's in a body. Yeah. Adam very meticulously killed everything they could while still keeping me alive in this previous body I was in. So what you're seeing is the brain and the eyes and I think the gallbladder. Very important. That's <laughs> where the soul is, oddly enough. <laughs> it's, it's in the gallbladder, actually. Uh, <laughs> this is enough to keep me alive, I guess, in this one. And I, uh, why wouldn't I have jumped off a cliff and just found a new body by now? I really like it! <laughs> <laughs> And he does some like cool dance moves. <laughs> There's a robot. <laughs> anyway, I don't know. He'll destroy me when he feels like it. I'm just kind of enjoying this this new body for a while while I can. This one doesn't hurt. <laughs> for some reason, no back pain. You don't have a back. <laughs> for some reason, I imagine this character being played by Martin Short. Uh, That'd be great. Right. <laughs> he reminds me, and I posted it in the Discord. He reminds me of the Doctor from a Hellboy. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Hellboy. what I'm. That's in. Yeah. Is that who? Yeah, Seth, <laughs> Seth MacFarlane doing the the gas doctor. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Iron Gollum, pretty much. He's like Something a like that, yeah. gaseous form yeah. inside that thing. Yeah. I love. I am missing all the I turn to the monks and I ask them, other than the obvious reasons why you're so terrified of fire. Fire! Fire! <laughs> uh, they, they, again, it's funny because, like, they they just had the false flag of what you're saying, and they're like, no, everything's fine. You, not even five minutes has passed. You say fire again. Fire! 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 <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Frankenstein fire. There we go. <laughs> uh, so, the, uh, they'll tell you. There are many. The, the weapons of men, not so much effective on us. We, at first, the villagers thought we were just really awesome guys, <laughs> super fit. Uh, they couldn't figure out how we could run marathons and not be panting at the end. Uh, they, <laughs> they, they soon, over time, discovered that we weren't just Olympians and large men, but we were actually constructed by the evil doctor, who everyone hates this guy. They point at him and they, oh, no, it's true, it's 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 But uh, we're particularly vulnerable to fire. It's, we don't, uh, he looks at you and like motions to everybody, the life force in all of you, the, the juices, the water. I mean, you're mostly water. You, well, you're living, and, and fire is obviously harmful to everyone. It, it destroys, but when you're living, when you're alive, it's just it doesn't have the same impact because you're mostly water. Again, we are not. We, this goo in here, but we are not composed of mostly water like you guys. So. Is- Adam, like you. In this respect, he is. But Adam has taken his experimentation both from his knowledge gained from his maker and from making us and from unleashing wrath upon the citizens and has taken to modify his body. So though he may have started very similar to us, now his monster isn't the right word. Because he's, he's definitely an abomination. Because I mean, like we all are abominations for that point, but we 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 have a point in life. We have chosen to care and protect and to lead a life of goodness. These our makers, our maker and his maker, have no semblance of this. They don't want to help anyone. They want to. Fuck around and find out for the sake of it. And with the, all of us are the repercussions. We are the suffering. They never suffer. At this point, you see Wendell, he pulls out the thing from his coat. The, you know, he's up and he's going to walk up to where the map is being drawn, uh, or has been drawn, and he's going to just start jotting it down. And he look Fucking it, take expiration for that. <laughs> 
And I mean it's not gonna matter. Yeah, it won't matter. Like here. <laughs> <laughs> um Let us go and face this foe. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Uh come with us. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna need you to get in this box. <laughs> <laughs> How big is box? Uh it's a chest. Um can you like, like a trunk. Transform into a smaller like, figure. I was about to say, he's like, Does he fold no, I'm fine to walk. And he, as soon no. as he starts walking, he, he just, he <laughs> one gear like catches. He's like, ah! He falls down. Brain almost slushes down. He's like, no, 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 shit. You know what? Ah, okay, all right. <laughs> the chest can hold 300 pounds. So. Oh, yeah, he's maybe but 50, not even that. Well, he's metal. So. so, like, is it just the brain, or is it the brain and the eyeballs in this tank? Yeah, so that thing I showed you, the it's it's like a uh, metal marionette, kind of. Right, right. But, like, is it... Oh, can you be separate? Yeah, can you separate the brain mm-hmm. with well, the rest of the body? I'll just say he's... Uh, what is it? Liquor? Yeah. Because of the other sprites that are still there. That one's blue right Goblin. there. Is vodka. Right. I mean, you can't I use Goblin edible right. glitters. <laughs> <laughs> the, like well, diamond the, dust to the get the shimmers in different colors, so you can swallow it. Like it's like the shimmery effect. Like oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, you do that for yeah. sure. Yeah. But no, no, no. The red one, I think, is oh, strawberry man. lemonade vodka. It's like, nah, you have glasses. <laughs> uh, cool. So, you know, he agrees. He's, um, he's like, you know what? We're going to have to trek up some mountains, and then we're going to have some sloshing. You're in Schloss Mordenheim. <laughs> More like Slosh Mordenheim. Mm-hmm. And, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's fine. Yes. Can we put him in a better thing that doesn't slosh the brain out? Like, in, is there <laughs> a top? We're just going to throw him in the chest. Yeah, his servants uh, come out from behind. They, By a court. they bring his traveling lid. <laughs> 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 well, go for the traveling lid. Yeah. It's got a little stuff on it from the kitchen. It's literally just an extra pot pan. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no, not the Saturday night one. <laughs> Going up the mountains. It just comes time. back out and it's one of those like pot, uh, yeah, the glass little pot things. Yeah. Duct tape. Duct tape. <laughs> duct tape. Take real good care of it. <laughs> they start, they I got some rope to start to tie it down, down. and <laughs> throw them in. Cool. Yeah, cool, we've got him. All right. You have Dr. Mordenheim. Yep. And then I whisper to my guys, Guys, there's bombs in the chest. We're <laughs> just sitting on the fire. We're done. <laughs> hey, you just put a mad scientist in there. <laughs> there's holy water. There's oh, steak. Fuck. There's all sorts of stuff in that chest. The window takes a couple steps back. <laughs> Hold on. This should have an effect. Okay, so. Well, I would be manically him if he's going in the chest. If you. Uh, okay. <laughs> Well, and then, like, I'm, I'm like tying the lid to his <laughs> jar head, too, so. You can just swap around. Uh-uh. But if you're bounding him, then that's fine. You, you bound him. Yeah. yeah he I, agrees to get in there, but. I don't know. Okay. That was so, a bad box. I don't want don't to risk anything. Well, I mean, I mean, sure, that's fine. Okay, so we have as, to kill him. I doubt he's going to be down for that if we have. honestly. And I should have I meant to build this into the dialogue. He's kind of excited. Just so, fine, try. Okay. Nobody can. <laughs> Nobody can. I dare you. So more of that vibe. So he's not like antagonistic necessarily. He is crazy. Perfect. And dangerous, but <laughs> <laughs> even more so. Yeah. Okay, so he's in there. Um, that's fine. Yeah, 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 I'm still going to do the thing. Okay, cool. So as uh, so we're. Yep. Yeah, everyone right. full yep. HP, full okay. everything. Yep. 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 We are trudging now. We leave Schloss Mordenheim, which is already at the base of this great mountain. And on the way, you learn that this mountain chain is called the Sleeping Beast. Uh oh. So the whole thing. It's not foreshadowing at all. <laughs> <laughs> it does look kind of Godzilla y coming out of the, the ground, like the Godzilla's back or whatever. Uh, it, it's not a not a standard mountain range. Let's say like uh, you guys are used to seeing weathered mountains, like enormous, obviously, but you know, kind of a, 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 a expectable, a, an understandable amount of like wear and tear on these things, and foliation, like life happening on them. 
contrast to that, the what you see now is like uh, almost like waves crashing up into the sky because they just don't move. So the, they're gnarly looking. These these the peaks of these mountains come up to it like an abnormal, like a supernatural almost uh, shape. Like there's no way normal erosion and weather would do this. <clears throat> As you start to make your trek from Schloss Mordenheim up the the mountain uh, for the first hour, uh, everyone needs to make a con check. Everyone who's not construct. This is blizzard. Uh, it's already cold where you were on ground level, but now you're just getting blasted in the face. Blizzard. Blizzard cold. Ten. Ten. Eight. Sixteen. 16. Okay. So below fifteen one. is ten cold damage. Frost damage. Yeah, twenty-two. <clears throat> how, much to ten, how much? How much? How much Ten damage total for failure. <clears throat> uh, no damage on success. We'll just chalk it up to. Better coat placement, <laughs> whatever. So the first hour, you make your way up, and okay. Um, as so, that's the first hour. You encounter the base of the monastery, and everyone the the monks. Uh, uncharacteristically, because they've been so shirkish up to this point and uh, kind of collapsing on this list, they make their way to the front of the party. And now it's like they have this confidence about them. It is fleeting though, because they, they come to the, the entrance and they, as soon as they, you see the first step leading up to the monastery, they bend down and like genuflect and kiss the first step and will, uh, then motion for you guys to walk up and they say we bless this entrance this is we made this place each step from this point on was made with our hands our brothers constructed all this it was a temple for the celebration of life and for seeking knowledge and love in the universe and it is such blasphemy to us and it hurts so deeply that our creator has taken it over for purposes of evil and they will please please help us and they all kind of form this like a uh, row there's like seven so like four and three and they all again they're they're giant they're huge <clears throat> they bend down and get in kind of a child's pose yoga and and just like okay this way they're, they're blessing I uh, bend down and kiss the first step as well. Nice. Inspiration. Right there. <laughs> I kiss it, too. <laughs> uh, I'm actually going to use one of my wild shapes and go ahead and like start, you know, put, put my hands into the dirt and all the spores. Yeah. And it's all these fungal growths start growing off of me. We're going to say, because you're so cold up there, the fungus... <clears throat> It's everywhere. Fungus is everywhere. But it's it's coming out, and instead of just like the smooth cellular, what's it called? The, when it masticates, whatever. Uh, it growing, it's like uh, icicles are. So you have a little edge there. Uh, so it's you, you do your thing, but also you got you notice there's just some weird spikes all over you. Kind of like Armor of Agathis style. A little bit. Spikes so. Use it as an unintended armor bag. This. <coughs> there we go. So you get to cast it at whatever level that is. Bless you. You know what? Bless you from the monks. <laughs> uh, what do you mean, whatever level that is? Like, because when you cast it, like, so level thirteen. If you, if you level it up, like for every spell, well, like slot, warlocks can't. It's, it's an additional it's whatever they are. Five HP and five damage. Mm, but I'm just doing so, like wild shape. Just to add like ten. We'll just start at the base. You have an extra 10 armor bags. Effectively, it is the armor bag. You have this icy shield about you that normally wouldn't be there. And it's because of the special cold bonus for where you are. Okay, so I'll just, whatever my temp HP is, that's how much that's damage it. it does. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's it. And anybody else? 
Mm-hmm. Cool stuff. Mm-hmm. I was gonna be mean to the monks. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh, I clearly sell. Right looks like shit now. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm Shoddy just, crap and shit. I'm just gonna use my crimson right as we're like walking up towards the temple. What's that? It's right. Like kind of. Uh, I have to take some damage, but I my uh, crossbow is turned like radiant or whatever. Nice. Um, and I take a little bit of damage to do that. So I need to roll out. Cool. We're heading up. Uh, there's a good time for bio break. I need to be. Uh-huh. Sure. Yeah, All right, but we have an hour. Yeah, let's, let's kill this guy. <laughs> let's kill. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, to destroy this parade of wokeism, I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> so, as you said, let me, we kiss the steps. Uh, you also kiss the mark. Uh, that's awesome. So uh, you are going to uh, <laughs> inspiration, but also for the next ten minutes, uh, we're going to say you have like a, a vicarious uh, you the bless has been cast upon you. It, you know, blast upon you. Mechanically, you feel blessed. You feel blessed. Feeling good. Fully clean. I'm just blessed. Fully clean. Okay, so we <laughs> start going up the the stairs. There's going to be more. We have fifty minutes. Uh, you you make it to the first level instead of an encounter. I was described. There are it's it's littered with pieces of bodies when you enter the first level. The monks let you in. They go up to the front door, uh, not sheepishly like they have been before, but just like normal, carefully, carefully come up to the door, like and tap, give it a few taps. Are able to open it without causing like any sound, and they uh, a, a few of them actually go in before you guys. Three of them go in, and uh, without saying anything, the the one holding the door just kind of motions for everybody just to wait. The three inside do it like a sweep of the area. One comes back. It's like so. How do we? How do we proceed? We're like badasses. Yeah. <laughs> do we feel like we need to sneak? Yeah, let's just kick down the door. Yeah, I, 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 I'm, 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 I'm better. We kick down the door. I pull out my signal whistle. Okay. <laughs> it's like an attack whistle. Oh, I'm going to say all the, all the cool shit you had bought with your gold and stuff. Yeah, like it, it, it wouldn't have been there, but we did. So mechanically, <laughs> mechanically, it's one of my artificial infusions. I took repl- replicated magical items, so the chest functions as a bag of holding. Hell yeah. So yeah. that, that I did that, so it's like, oh, but it's like, it's not really that big inside, so I limit, try to limit it to keep it with the no magic setting. But it's like a chest that, like, Victor. like, it expands. It's like, oh, you can pull it out and get a little bit bigger to fix some stuff in there. As we're walking, I tell everybody who has a weapon, like anyone who has a sword or arrow or whatever, pull it out, and I pull out six files of purple worm poison, <laughs> which I purchased. <laughs> and like. Let me, let me douse all of your weapons in oh, shit. poison. Perfect. How, much is, that, how much is that? Uh, <clears throat> purple worm poison. <clears throat> it's something ridiculous. It's amazing. Yeah. Um, so I pull out my dagger of warning and my mace. And uh, it costs. Dagger of warning is the one uncommon weapon I it's have. It's like 2,500. It's a DC 19 con saving throw and does 12 D6 poison okay. damage on a failed save. And half D6. as much on a success. I'd go throw. What was the let them, let DC them. again? DC 19. 19. 19. Con save every time you attack? Uh, for it, once it hits, hit. the first time it hits, then it's expended. So it's like, it's it stays on your weapon until you hit. Okay, just the one time. Okay. Yeah. Yep. okay. So I got my longbow out. I only have six doses. Yeah, well, so have two weapons. One, <laughs> two, <laughs> longbow, that's one arrow. Yeah. Okay. Three, I've got my dagger, I could use that. Four. So you have two daggers? Yes. I, I'm just going to use six. it for, yeah. That's yeah. all of it. Yeah, I'll take out a couple of vials of my holy water and splash all my arrows. Just to, just to I do. Oh, if you've got <laughs> holy Yeah, I've got holy water. <laughs> well, no, I was about to say, because I have holy water. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Also, I don't think one of my vials drop it on my whip. Yeah. I don't know, but so, so I, I bought it, so I'm using so it. So, <laughs> you see, you see uh, Wendell pull out one of his... Cats, apparently. <laughs> yes. Yes. That's our sound engineer. And now the right. game's complete. Right. That's the sleeping beast. <laughs> um, so 
he pulls out one of his vials of holy water and then he unsheaths this weapon that has a strange glow going towards it and he pulls out his moon uh, touched rapier and he douses that with holy water. Nice. And then he puts it back because it's too bright in this one little area. <laughs> So the mechanic of my crossbows have little inserts for little vials, and so that's how my infusions and everything works for them. And so it's like a little slot. So it's like a one and done. Nice. So oh, we'll do a little injection of holy water so that, and then I can pop little different things in. That's almost like a hypo like, spray in Star yeah. Trek. Yeah, I'm, I'm flavoring that so that way it's my battle master things and my and some of the spells and things I can do with that go through little things like that. So as we're all preparing, we go. Extra poisoning, every, all the tips, every uh, poison tips you're working in, and uh, working your way through the bodies. Uh, some of the monks, as you're going toward the, where they're guiding, there's one. There's one that's like guiding everybody, including his brothers, like uh, the one who's in front, because y'all yeah, know where you are, even though you have detail now. <clears throat> I do. So uh, heading that way. The others, though, like they're they're also walking with you, but they're just every now and then. One will like put a little bumper and they'll lean down, and maybe another will come and join. And you can tell like it's a big body on the ground. That's that's one of the fallen brothers. So every time they find one of their fallen brothers, they'll they'll like pray, do a little prayer, and you can tell like the devotion <clears throat> is not a joke. The, these guys have nothing; they only have hope, and they see you as their only, only survival, like, uh, escape That's from this <laughs> So, you make it to the second level. And this one's eerie. Uh, they go to the second level. Again, uh, everything's kind of, the, the, every room is very large and open with the outskirts may have some <clears throat> very small rooms, like closet, closet size rooms. Uh, for like actually sleeping, uh, personal space, but mo it's mostly just wide open. Everywhere you go, open concept. So <laughs> uh, you're going through, and there is a, a particularly eerie silence on this second level. Uh, even though there wasn't anything happening on the first level, you still kind of heard like the outside, the wind is is howling outside. Uh, you can hear each other's footsteps. You can hear the monks rumbling, or sorry, uh, murmuring to each other blessings. Once you enter the second level, it's almost like the sound is is muted all around. Kind of like I was talking about the sun looking weird with the eclipse the other day. It's like the same thing happens with the south in this one level for some reason. And you know, it, you notice this naturally. You know, you don't have to make checks or anything. But even so much as your own breathing, like you're. Like you have to try to hear yourself do anything. It's it's very strange. Um, the monks guide you, and they as soon as they enter this room, they all stop almost mechanically as they freeze and take as a note of the room. Everyone, roll for perception. Yeah, that's a 14. 15. 14. 6. <laughs> I'm in there. Spicy. So I'm a plus 4 to deception and I will just 6. Oh, 16. Oh, I got a plus 10. I got a plus 5. <laughs> yeah, roll five. That's rough, buddy. So 16 <laughs> is our highest so far. Yeah. 16? <laughs> yeah. It was 15, so. Um. Everyone, who's who 16? 16 and 15. So 16, uh, oh, 15. Okay, both you guys notice that the monks, when they stop, they, they're, they're stuck. It's almost like they're stuck. Mm. They, they noticeably do not want to have stopped the way they are. And it seems like they're going Are they, so like, are they like still like kind of in the entrance, like right after they step through? We'll say uh, it's kind of like a stairwell. We'll just say there's a spiral staircase connecting the levels. 
and the first level is mundane, there's a lot of body, sad. Come up to the second level, and yeah, probably about, and they're leaving, you guys. As soon as they come out of the entrance and there's enough room for everybody, maybe they covered maybe 15 feet, maybe they get into the, the space and they just, not not like magic stops them, but they just, the, that, that last step they take, they're like, and then almost frozen. Yeah. <laughs> I, try the to, cat runs by. <laughs> I try to drag one back to the entrance of the room before okay. they got paralyzed. Uh, strength. Uh, uh, so he does not. It's not that he doesn't want to. He, and his eyes are moving. So if you're looking at him, he's like. Oh. He's just giving you, like, uh, it, it, he looks terrified. And he looks like he's in pain, but he, he can't, he's moving very slowly. But if I manipulate his body and move him, he can move? Go ahead and try. Uh, he's very large. Uh, so, uh, athletics? Is that athletics? Or... Athletics I can do. 26. Okay. You are able, where do you, where, what are you? Trying to push, take him back to where we entered the room before nice. they <clears throat> froze up. We'll say you were at the back for purposes, and uh, you're able to get him into the walkway. And he... <sighs> it's like he's catching his breath, like danger, danger. That's all he says. Cool. Uh, quickly turn to the rest of the room. You ready? Yeah. Uh, and I'll rage. <laughs> Nice. I said I'm sculpting the shadows. Oh, so <laughs> I immediately hide my thing. <laughs> I have. Okay. Shadows. Also yep. hide. Shadows. Shadows. Already a dodge. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not doing any of that. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, no. I'm literally emanating radiant. Yeah, you see. <laughs> you got you see half his kind of fists together. <laughs> <laughs> you see him slam his fists together and then, like, you know, starts to, see, like, all yeah. these uh, joints start popping and limbs elongating, muzzle starts to <laughs> yeah. go out. Ooh. So just for this flavor, we're gonna say you're more like a winter wolf vibes. So the, the ice and everything. Oh, nice. <clears throat> oh, he's the white ranger now, not the green ranger. <laughs> <It's almost> like, <laughs> still I'm not used to that. <laughs> <laughs> As the the children of Adam, the monks, all but the one you you save whatever are, are frozen. Uh, we can't move, and you hear like wood creaking, and uh, the air is already cold. It's already cold. It gets colder, <laughs> and no breeze whatsoever. And it's like you're starting to everyone. Uh, Anyone who, well, no, no rolls. Just all y'all. It's almost the similar experience to when you were in between death, when you were in that other plane, uh, except mood wise, um, it's the opposite end of the spectrum. So the amount of peace that you felt uh, in the presence of that entity, the planet size. Uh, is contrasted by just deep, not, I won't say fear, fear, like for mechanical purposes. And all of you are strong. You're level 13, adventurers. You, everyone just feels like death just rakes its fingers down your spine. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Okay. When was that, like, that chilling kind of like moment sort of thing when, when that kind of crawls up or down your spine. Yes. So involuntary like shivers a little bit. You, uh, as soon as you shiver, everyone's like, oh, you see in your breath now. You hear the creaking gets more intensified. And then you hear a voice that you haven't heard before from the, also the shadows, <laughs> different shadows. <laughs> what do we do in the shadows? You hear <laughs> You're cackling. <laughs> Sticks and stones. 
sticks and stones. They can't break my bones, but I swear. You children come here over and over. Sticks and stones. And then <laughs> all of a sudden the all the monks are it's like they haven't been able to breathe this whole time. They <laughs> gasp for air, all of them go down to their to their knees and hands on all fours except for the one that you saved. And they're like <laughs> as they're panting, the, the one we did uh, say from that paralysis comes in and he tries to help his brothers and he'll look to you it's like the creature is near Adam he he has this hold over us we, we're not going to be of any help I'm sorry I'm so sorry but he's near he's coming all right so I'm in my raging form so I'm right. rushing ahead yeah you will be I am sneaking forward you <laughs> will be on the next level no it's he won't be here. We, and you can, uh, because of your bright light, you, you see the rest of the room. What is it, like 20 bright? 20 feet. 20 dim. Yeah, yeah. probably, yeah. So uh, it, the room's a, a <clears throat> bit bigger than that, but for whatever, you, you see it enough. And it's just like all creepily empty uh, in contrast to the first level, which was like bodies, you know, galore. Uh, they motion, they, they reference that you need to go to the third floor. Okay. So sorry. And they're going to the one with the special belt, the one who seemed like they're all monks, they're all holy, but this one seems to be kind of a spiritual leader amongst them. He comes forth and he takes off that belt and it's a, a certain color and he's going to Who kissed the step? I mean, wouldn't that make more sense? Oh, perfect. <laughs> so, he's like, damn! I am a monk, too. Yeah, yeah. and he's a monk. Fucking <laughs> perfect. <laughs> so he takes off the uh, belt and he gives it to you, please take this. So while wearing this right. belt, uh, against Adam, you have advantage on Tex. Ooh. Oh, okay. Ooh. Nice. Good. He good. has disadvantage on any spells or Heck saves yeah. or get from you. Oh, yeah. okay. And Adam is the thing that you walked in? Yes. Right. He's, yeah. Well, yeah, because we, we gotta go up a level, right? Yeah, we gotta go full. Yeah. All, right. All right. Let's go. Let's go and put yeah, this yeah. guy in the dirt. Our transformation stops as uh, we run because that's a rage and I didn't get hit or attacked. Uh, uh. Well, we know how I it works. I I'm gonna shoot them. you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wait, Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Just hat. See a ram real quick. Fuck! Sorry, have it. <laughs> so they motion you to go up, and, and uh, sure enough, you you go in there, and uh, the as soon as you, we'll keep our uh, uh, initiative from earlier, and we'll say that's your marching order too. So Chase, you, as soon as you go in, and you, you're the light, you, you, yeah. it makes sense for you to be in front anyway. You come in, and the similar to the previous level, uh, it's mostly empty except for a noticeable working station, operation. Like, a, a, I mean, I don't know how to explain it in d and terms, but like, it's a, it's a, like a, 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 a OR. It looks like an OR. And, okay. but it, in, instead of uh, machines, you know, wall to wall, it's almost like mostly empty. And then in this one corner tucked away, there's all the instruments. There's the bed, there's the operating table, all this stuff. It's just tucked away in one corner. And what's the, uh, it's lit. So, and there's, there's flames. You see a hulking figure, even large, everyone's assuming we're all yeah. going in there. Yeah. And nobody else is, by the way, affected by this paralysis. This doesn't affect you at, at all. Oh, right. Like not even a little bit. Like you, you're like, why are you, what's wrong? <laughs> Come with us. <laughs> they, they can't. Hoax one of the things. So you walk in and I'm just gonna turn my back, but you can, oh cool, I have like props. Didn't play for this. This is improv. So you hear <laughs> <laughs> just like, that, that sounds cool. No, but it's it, <laughs> it, 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 
crappy surgeons. Surgeons don't actually sharpen their implements. They just buy razor surgical grade. He's must, must be a pretty crappy one. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, you see, so these, the monks are crazy tall. The, like seven foot was the shortest one. Mm -hmm. What you see in the corner, much larger, uh, easily by four feet. So like 11, 12 feet tall. Cause he's, the way they were cowering a little bit just to be eye level with you guys. Cause they're so self-conscious. This guy is doing the same thing. Not for the same reason. It's cause he can't fit. <laughs> <laughs> he's not self-conscious. He just can't physically fit in the room you are in. But you see a, uh, butcher's apron, the back of it anyway. I was supposed to be wearing it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you hear it just cackling. <laughs> so, you come to break me, have you? <laughs> He's not looking. He's not even turning around. He doesn't care. You're about uh, 60 feet away. I would shoot him. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna start unloading. Yeah. Well, I mean, at 60 feet, you said he's got his little operating theater. I'm gonna look. Is that the only thing in this room that would lead me to believe that there's some process that I can disrupt to prevent him from coming back as fast? Uh, make yourself check. And again, the, the the secret thing I told you that we were gonna do, we're not doing that. So this is all. I had a cool thing planned. <laughs> Eleven. No. <laughs> you see, uh, the only thing that stretches that, that uh, sticks out is there. Are, there is rubble on the other side as you you guys in, uh, exit the stairwell. Apart from that, it's like eerily clean in this place, like disinfected. <laughs> you know, uh, ER level, ER room. You know, so. Again, I don't have my. I may not even publish this thing. Uh, so you go forth, and so that's the only thing you notice. Uh, there's, there's uh, not a little bit. Okay, this is uh, enough to fill the room to the roof on both sides. So there is actually some damage in the corners of the room where you can. There's uh, moonlight coming in. Be daylight. Yeah. Where's moonlight? It's cooler. <laughs> Uh, oh, well, you climbed up a mountain. Yeah, now it's it's night again. By the way, <laughs> another. Uh, <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's the only thing. And in fact, these two moonlights and then Chase's light, his character, it's kind of kind of well lit at this point. Uh, Pull out my moonlight right here just to feel the glitter. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's glowing a little bit extra. Yeah. But he uh, he doesn't even turn his back. Like, he's just he's so confident. And then, oh, uh, where's Professor? In the crane. <laughs> so, a chest and I was gonna... uh, yeah. So he doesn't react. If, as long as he's in there, no reaction. So it's complete cockiness. Do your worst. He's just standing up. He's not even engaging you. Go ahead. Do your, do your <laughs> I, uh, I guess I'll rage. <laughs> I shoot. Shoes at. Look, yeah, anyway, cool. so I started blasting. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm about to Nova. <laughs> just dump everything. Yeah. I just run. Ah! As everyone, uh, yeah, pull on tech, right? Oh, yeah. Old school. Yeah. Ah! yeah. As you're going in, uh, two gargoyles uh, swoop down and kind of plant themselves in front, uh, in between you guys and Adam. Start blasting. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I started blasting. <laughs> right, so we would roll initiative, but we're already we're keeping that. Okay. So and then uh, they were. Uh, I need to move. Does anybody remember what the numbers were there? The monster was seventeen. Yeah. yeah. Twelve. Eleven. This new monster is uh, eight. So where does eight, that, that would that would be under before me? That would be under Mark. Yeah. yeah. So can you move monster down to? Because yeah. Josh and I were six. Yeah. So this is the new initiative. Clay and I were 12. 12. Yeah. Mark was 11. Okay. Yeah. Yep. That's good. All right. Um, yeah. Go for it. Chase. So yeah, I, ah! I kind of step. I kind of step back into the group a little bit, and then I let go of three arrows. Yeah. 
But I'm gonna, sh but they're gonna, like, well, it looks like I might take on the gargoyles. They're gonna shoot straight between the gargoyles. Nice. And all three arrows are gonna straight to Adam. Adam, nice. And it's back, so. I'll clear a path for the melee guys. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, I won't say advantage. Just to okay. get the okay. So that, the first one, 15. 15 misses. Uh, and then um, 26. 26 hits. Sure. And then another 26. Yep. All right, and then it's right, so a two hit. Um, so they're, they're gonna take. He's gonna take. Um, this is four. Um, set set fourteen um, piercing damage. Okay. And then um, is this a magical um, weapon, right? Well, it's it's using my crimson right, which is what's that's not that's just piercing damage from the weapons. That damage. Okay. Then I'm gonna do radiant damage on top of it. Okay. Is is he gonna take on dead damage? No monstrosity. <laughs> um, okay, and then I'm gonna do special. <laughs> so <Frame attack. laughs> the, so two of these. So I have my first shot missed. The other, the second shot would have the oil on it. The poison. Your poison. Your, the venom. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, is it six? So it's a, it's a constitution saving throw. For him? Yeah. Yeah. For what? For poison? Yeah. DC 19 counts. Poison. For poison. Yeah, he's probably good. Yeah. He has the sound. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, um, so it takes nine radiant damage. He does. Actually, he takes nine radiant damage. Maybe. And then he's going to take another six radiant damage. So nine and six radiant damage. Gargoyles are probably also So... You the first the first bolt just it just hits the wall in front of him as yeah. he's sharpening his blade. Uh, the second one dead shot. Boom. Yeah. Right in his back. No reaction whatsoever. Uh, but it, there's radiant damage in, in, on both of them. On the second one. So you you know your weapons. You know how yeah. to work. You, you shoot this guy. You're expecting. You know what is supposed to happen. The mm -hmm. it's like nothing. and then. <sighs> the Radiant gets his attention, and yeah. <sighs> he winces a little bit, and for the first time, he kind of starts to turn his head. <laughs> he doesn't really. <laughs> he goes back to sharpening his knife, and there's like two arrows in his back. Sweet. He takes full and, uh, uh, the Radiant damage. And the Radiant damage, the Radiant, so the radiant light's coming off the arrows, so when you shoot these, you see the light like travel down the, like, down the hall. Nice. Him. Yeah. It's like a beam? Yeah. <laughs> Badass. So, the searing, mm -hmm. and you can hear it too. So there's an eerie quietness to this level as well. And uh, you you hear that searing on the skin, those flesh, that's awesome. What did we, as a spirit I know, what did we say about fusion spells? What's the dog? You can try. It's uh, a DC 13. DC 13, <laughs> see if it even goes. Bless you. Bless you. Uh, if you. If you succeed on DC 13, you're good to go. If you fail, doesn't work, but you don't expend spells. And what's what, what, what's the DC thirteen? The attack to see if it even works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, sorry, move back a little bit. Oh, sure. All right. Is that all you got? Yeah, that's all. All right, all right Jay. Jay. Jay, what you got? All right. All right, so Jay, uh, Aya. Is, she didn't go. You don't have to. She's still in the shadows. Yeah. Uh, Do I need it? Because it's my turn. Look we'll around like and see, and he, there's no bodies in here. Yeah, you're sure. No, so you move half he's just trying to get no opportunity. Yeah. So you want to go closer? Yeah, we're on your turn. Maybe you want to Yes, I do. Oh, so you should get closer. Or investigation. Where do you, how are you trying to yeah. gain more knowledge? What are you doing? I am just like kind of. In the shadows. Hugging the around. corners. Yeah, hugging the corners. <laughs> <laughs> I am hugging the corners and I am <laughs> looking. I'm slowly sneaking <laughs> and looking to see what's over there. Uh, uh, just watching it. I'm like, <laughs> I kind of want to. I kind of want to insight though and see what like his next move is going to be or exactly what he's doing. With. Now roll. Uh, yeah, roll perception. Perception. Okay. Oh, Nat 20 plus 12, 32. So, just. <laughs> I mean, 
Does that hit? <laughs> you see the DM. It <laughs> was a low DC. <laughs> <laughs> I see everything. So, uh, yeah, no, yeah, you see him working on a body. I mean, there's a, there, there is an operation happening. And it is a female. What else should I say to Matt? <laughs> it looks very professional. I don't know. He's <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he knows what he's doing. Dude, can I see? It? Is he done working on the body? It doesn't look like the uh, operation. Stuff. And you see, like your friend from earlier, Doctor Monheim. There are jars <laughs> around. With maybe. Brains in them. <laughs> there, it seems like he is doing something related to that. It, it, you, instantly, you think, "Oh, like Victor." What's yeah. he doing? What's he doing? Yeah. Okay, this is his. It all started because he's trying his wife back, right? No. Well, no, Victor, Victor was. Victor was. Victor was trying his wife back. Okay. Yeah. He has been able to keep her alive, but not like well. She is kind of in a tortured suspense like stasis okay. she's not fully dead but this is i wouldn't call this life okay. she's just mr freeze over here fucking exactly yeah. 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 it's breaking it's breaking <laughs> 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 all right i just say it's just you don't want to attack it's attack not not necessarily it's a one shot mission no okay good so she waited the uh we got 20 minutes. Yeah. Well, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not used to one shot, sorry. Yeah. It's more murder the thing quickly. <laughs> Unless yeah. it's like a RP one shot. Okay. This case extremely quickly. Okay, fine. So then I'm going to do my best. Do. <laughs> I guess, okay, so sneak sneak on his ass, stealthy. Yeah. Um, I'm going to assume, to me as Island, that he does not know that I'm there. No. Okay, cool. So then I'm going to sneak. I have Man. my. Advantage. I have my uh, dagger that I poison, yeah. and I'm gonna run behind him and try and slash both his Achilles. Ooh, nice. 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 Do that. <laughs> <laughs> we know you the poison with is not effective yeah. at this point. Yeah. Plus with you guys as well. Do it. Huh? With the sneak attack, yeah. sneak attack. Oh yeah, your sneak attack damage. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. But you have to roll to hit first. How close are you, also? Uh, well, she says she went up to him. Yeah. So she did okay. Well, I'm like right. <laughs> <laughs> not okay. First of all, don't answer for me. It's <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> all right. You got this. You got anything to say, boss? You're at full health. <laughs> You're at full health. If you die, you die. I'm trying to sort out a whole plan in my head. So, Sean, how do you want to do this? <laughs> Everybody likes explosions, right? <laughs> Absolutely. I have some grenades. So, because you're so close, I'm going to roll... One, two, three. One, two, three. Four. Blue four. Okay. Four. Ooh, Okay. Nice. Good callback. Okay. All right. You don't know why, but you're, oh, first of all, let's, let's go ahead and roll damage and stuff. Go ahead. Alright. Do, do I need to roll hit twice as well as Do you have to attack? Well, yes. Exactly. Oh, well, well, I'm trying to do it in one fell swoop, actually. Well, I mean, it's, it's uh, mechanically, it's just one. So just, yeah. Do the thing. What's your, what's your, to hit? You got it. To hit is four dice, I guess. Yeah. Crit, yeah, yeah. Crit on his ass. Go ahead. Oh god. Uh, that, what's so that's gonna be what? So we're done. That's, <laughs> that's an eight d six off of the sneak attack because that doubles, and then your dagger. Well, hers is on forty. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So yours is eight d six. Also, you're the closest now. I get to show you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, roll your damage. Oh god, roll my damage. So it's forty. It's eight. your. You said eight now. 
Yeah. Yeah, it's made 86s of doubles and then you roll your dagger damage twice. And the purple worm stuff would also double, but. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> Why did I need to be even here? She's gonna watch. <laughs> so, now that she you're doesn't, close, I'm nice. <laughs> the creature you see standing over 10 feet tall looks like this. Oh. 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 Disgusting. <clears throat> Tattoos are one thing, but mm. you know, sometimes you see Looks someone like you just know that them. that's their name. That's definitely not an animal. <laughs> <laughs> and um, your dagger damage, do that twice. Alright, my dagger damage is twice. Unless you think so it I depends on your view, view of humanity. Because yeah. like what what better symbolizes humanity than Adam, and it's like, are we monsters? <laughs> so does that make the doctor god? Though? He's playing god, for sure. Mm -hmm. but. <laughs> okay, I so I got a 10 and a 9 on the uh, damage, nice. but then the 8d6s was 37, Shit. and then the sneak attack one. Well, that was your sneak attack. Oh, that was the day D6 right. was your sneak attack. Could you know we're real quick up in the 40 seconds. 46. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, go for that. Yeah. And you're, you had a magic uh, weapon. All right. Now, if you want to try the poison thing, go ahead and, like, if you see whatever. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you put the poison on the dagger. Because you still take the poison damage, though. So. No. Is he resistant? He's immune. He's immune. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's He's what I was thinking. Immune. He takes it. Yeah, yeah, he takes it. it. <laughs> <laughs> so, that it? Yeah. Okay. No, that was good. Okay. okay. It all worked. Okay. All right. But that's what you see. And also, I rolled a before. Stinking cloud! Oof. Burst from you can't even control this. You are in proximity <laughs> to the curse, the scourge of Lemoria, and you make your attack, and everything's fine. Everything's working right. You come in badass, and you do like the the knee slide thing <laughs> with your Achilles slicing. All good. All that happens, and as soon as you end your skid, you you start to like get up and like hide back in the shadows. I'm assuming go back to the shadows. Yeah. Naturally. As soon as you do. <coughs> <laughs> and you start to cob up a whole the <laughs> cloud around you. And, yeah, no, uh, so the spell stinking cloud has been uh, cast in you and it's uh, <laughs> going yes. everywhere. I don't allow that. I should have that closer. That is, so. It just It's just uncontrollable retching. Right? Yeah, so you, you create a 20 foot radius sphere, doesn't affect that, but uh, around you, nauseating gas centered on you. And. <laughs> Walk towards the gargoyle. <laughs> and uh, this gas, you can tell, like, you, <laughs> it's, it's, you have this unnatural retching happening, and you're heaving. Uh, it's going to be for four rounds. <laughs> so, uh, you're in our gas bomb. Like a, like those bug things that you leave when you yeah, leave your house. Yeah, and... oh, nice. Yeah. Was, that, was it, that like opportunity of attack on his side, or was it just because I cut him open? Layer action. He's not going to take that. So. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> layer. Layer action. Oh, okay. yeah. More like our layer reaction. Or just the layer. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's it for your cloud now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Go to... Uh, that's Achilles, don't do the rest. Thank you! Alright, cool. Uh, seeing the dire straits of what's about to happen, uh, I'm going to basically Nova. And so what this mechanically looks like, I take a vial out from my jacket, crack it, <laughs> and snort it, <laughs> eyes dilate, yeah. and this is a action search. Yeah. Ooh. Everything slows down, the crossbows, kind of, they're kind of modular so it comes together. Yeah. Logs out. Yes. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna make seven attacks. <laughs> <laughs> and all of them are gonna do weird things. Yeah. Well, yeah we're we're gonna... One, two, three. You love to see it. 
All at one gargoyle? No, it's all at the guy. Oh, you're all at him. Okay. <laughs> That's, okay. The gargoyle is just standing there. Yeah. <laughs> they are. <laughs> Boo, it's like they did a hero landing. Mm. No, there's other shit's happening. <laughs> <laughs> we all just ignore them. Just, we ignore, just ignore them. Ignore them. <laughs> okay, so Lois is a nat one and a 15. One's a 17, and the other five are ab- above a 28. Uh, 17 hits. Okay, so six of them are going to hit. Fuck. Okay, oh god. So that's automatically off the top. That's going to be 60 damage from Sharpshooter. Yeah. Automatically. And then we're going to... I'm gonna expend some superiority dice. So he's gonna have to make, that's gonna be another, he has to make a DC 19 strength throw or he is going to be tripped. I'm going to add more (laughs) and allow, an arrow flies by uh, Porter and like attaches to him a little bit to kind of drag him forward. So he gets to expend his reaction and move half of his movement speed without provoking opportunity attacks. So he can get a little bit closer. This build isn't just the attack. This build is just to piss off the beast. <laughs> yes, it is. It is. I can only do this once. Another one. I need another. Uh, no, wait, no. Nope. So actually, he just... Um, the next attack against him is going to have advantage. And if he attacks anybody other than me, he has disadvantage. Okay. And then I need another dexterity or a strength saving throw to see if he's going to drop his weapon. It was 27 on the first one. Okay. And then... Uh, net 20. Oh, darn. So... And a 19. I rolled a 19 and a 20. That's okay, I got another one. Do it, do it again. For the disarm. <laughs> so that's 20. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 22. Okay. So. Alright, so none of those have... But so it is. he's strong. Yeah, he's, he's strong. <laughs> he's strong. Boy. And then let me just add my damage real quick. <clears throat> We'll say to help this thematically, the Achilles strikes uh, brought him down to one knee. After all that, he's like, he isn't even paying He doesn't pay you any money. You're, you're nothing to him. <laughs> Until we will, we will oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> 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 Can't <laughs> ignore <laughs> Achilles' blows. So that lended itself to all this fuckery. That's how it. That's a lot of plus. What's that? Uh, yeah, okay. He's yeah, alright, so that's 142. <laughs> sure. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sure. It's, just, it's just a blister. It's almost like a machine gun coming out of nowhere. So, what we're gonna do is, um, all, guess, um, all that happens. <laughs> Crossbow? Yeah, two, two so, hand crossbows that like. How many actual like physical bolts? Six. Six. So uh, as the six turn, well, he still we'll say because one missed. When the when it starts, he's still back to you. Uh huh. And the first one hits, uh, but again, he's gotten hit before. Yeah. The second one hits, he's like, okay, what? What? <laughs> and then like third. <laughs> 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 like, oh. <laughs> as he's turning around. <laughs> Taking all these arrows, he's like, "Oh, okay, okay, God!" <laughs> and he, he's going to cast down. These weren't weapons, actually; they were just tools. Yeah. Throws them down. He's like, "Sticks and stones!" <laughs> Screaming at everyone. Got him in plenty. <laughs> and he like does this like super stand move, <laughs> and uh, all the bolts that had from you and you and uh, whatever uh, just. Like squeeze out of him, like he's like shitting them out. We're like, bah! they they go out, and all all so the visual I showed you, all the metallic elements mm-hmm. gone now. Okay. So there is still, and I should have said this earlier. There's uh, he's he had wood and uh, metal parts mm-hmm. in him. In addition to what he already normally should be, which is a flesh tone, because all this other stuff happened. He's he's modified himself. But this insane attack <laughs> just pretty much uh, nullified a whole aspect of his being. 
gone. He uh, the, the all the modifications, enhancements that he's been making on at least a whole year's worth of research. Gone. Yeah, because yeah, of the distracting strike, he'd it, be focused on me because it's like, oh, yeah. after that, yeah, yeah. He just waves like, yeah. Because like I said, it, it's like he, the, by the fourth bolt, <laughs> he's already turned around and he's looking at you, five, six, <laughs> and one misses. So he's like, there was another. <laughs> Fuck. So those, so all the metal, it's almost like he, like, uh, it was willed out. He can't use it anymore. It's gone. So that, that was an insane blow. Okay. Uh, that's it. <laughs> and then, yeah, yeah, you get to move like. Half and then you action. <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you get to yep. move like half yeah. speed plus. So that would be twenty feet closer. So he to to the to Adam. Yeah. Okay. Uh, nice. Um, well, wherever you want, but yeah. Well, I you know we don't take advantage of the. That's what I'm thinking. I was like, get him closer. Yes. Get him closer. Yes. Um, so good. Um, Aaron. Aaron. All right, my girl. So my attack has advantage. Yes. Yeah, the very next one has advantage on it. Yeah. All right. So. How are you? What are you doing? Yeah. So that would be your. I'm in the. Uh, I'm in hiding, and I'm using my longbow. So. Yeah. Sneak attack. Yeah. Um, Just hide. So you'd have already had advantage. <laughs> Is it double advantage? Fucker came out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What the fuck. Well, I'm not taking the minus, so it's, it's uh, just a 18. 18 hits. 18 hits. Be my sneak attack. Plus. All right, ooh, damn, that I was... can do that move once every short rest. <laughs> this is a sleep potion. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, let me just. All right, uh, 15 minute break, I'll be right back. All right, all right. Let me reload all my ammo. <laughs> Turn this in a commercial for Seroquel. <laughs> Sleepy potion right here. <laughs> Makes me uh, not yell at people. And uh, I sponsored sleep. by. Yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. Sponsored by off brands here. I can't afford it. Yeah. Alright. So Name my brand. sneak Who attack that? is only uh, 22 damage. Mm. Okay. Only oh, yeah. Um. Just and then I will, will go I ahead and. Uh, I can only do it once. <laughs> action surge myself and sure. go ahead and do three more attacks. Well, my uh, my second attack and then two more attacks, but this is actually okay. This is working out. Um, <laughs> you're gonna make through one round. All right. We're on your like don't use magic <laughs> classes. Everybody, right. this is why. <laughs> You're like, all right, just we'll 100 attacks per turn. <laughs> First one critted. So it's crazy. It's like, one. guess I'll crit three times. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Really like, still high level caster. Still completely nerf that. Which is nuts. 14 minus 5. Oh, that was 27. So a. Uh, a wizard would be used. 22. 22 hits. 22 hits. Okay. Oh, and the one that. Or it'd be really hard. The first expect. character I designed for this one shot was a sorcerer <laughs> that had a 13 to his. Not like plus 13 to con save. It was like, I literally can't fail. Nice. Oh, yeah. But. I mean, what. <clears throat> I would have made it less effective. <laughs> I would have found one. I know. That's why I didn't do that. <laughs> oh crap, I forgot my holy water damage. Oh well. <laughs> right. Yeah, I'm gonna it I know, right? What does it affect though? Like, I'm gonna like it's a new roll of attacks and damage. Oh, so flat, you don't have to be a certain type or anything for it to work? Doesn't say. Nice. Mm -hmm. So like you get to attack like a bandit captain and it still work? Let me think. I don't know. It just does that. radiant. I think so. Right. Let me see. So, like, he's like, "Well, I'm a believer in Tom." Ah! <laughs> oh, fiend or undead? No. Yes. And it's two d six. Yeah. So he's he's fiend ish. All right. So, <laughs> so wouldn't the radiant the radiant wouldn't work? No, radiant's uh, radiant's working. It just okay. would not. It wouldn't proc from that. Okay. Hmm. Do do do. Okay. So twenty two plus my. Damage? Do what? <laughs> racking up damage right now? Yeah, yeah, I'm racking up damage. My 22 was my uh, my sneak attack. Shit. Um, and then I had my crit, which was the 17 20, 20, 20. plus an extra because I have piercer. So <laughs> nice. that's an extra. That was an extra D8. So that was an 
I think it just rolled a two, so that's 19. Um, and then my other two was 22 and then a 24. So oh, is it hit? Yeah, those were two hit. 22 okay. and 24 were okay, hit. Yeah, yeah. Um, what's so, the, what's the damage? Okay, yeah, that's what I'm, I'm, trying I'm trying to add it. I'm trying to add it. It's gonna be quicker. Jeez. Oh, jeez. <laughs> um, anything about, I mean, anything about 17 hits. Okay, so... Oh, okay. Uh, so, 69. Oh, nice! Yeah. 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 And on that note, he's dead. Oh, <laughs> this inspiration! You, you, you just see... You 69, found, 420, let's do it! You found you just, a secret death You just death see marriage. the camera pan over to like the shadowy area and just see yeah. the text word, nice. Nice! <laughs> <laughs> So right. no, uh, after these attacks, the like similarly when the landed the blows landed earlier and all the metal pieces seem to eject out of the body, this time, uh, all, at least uh, blows is taken. It, it, it seems like the first few that go three that, that go through, uh, there are rocks in his body. Like there's like stones that he has clearly put in his body. <laughs> The first few, you're like hitting stones, so it's like, you know, it's, you're doing damage, but it's like hard. And then you start to, the last couple, you're like, oh shit, you're hitting him, and the, the stones are flying out of him. <laughs> so he's no, long, he's no longer protected against the stone damage. And just like early before, one turn ago, uh, <laughs> the stone elements from this golem, this brothers, <laughs> boom, he's in, you know, in, Take, uh, Mark's going one. next. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Bro, I was about to bring this guy down. So, he still fails. Uh, so, he tried, you, you notice for a moment, he tries to like regain control of his body and all the work he's put in, and he's like desperately s- trying to get the stones and the, the steel to stay in place, but it's just not, it just, it, it, bleh, like it injects itself from his body. It, it refuses to stay. Uh, uh, and for the first time, uh, you see this thing like, noticeably terrified. Like, it just, it's, the whole reason it was so cocky this whole time is gone. It's fucking gone. <laughs> it's like, ah! it's, he's very, like, wizard behind the curtain right now. Wizard, wizard of Oz. So, yeah. Uh, not looking great. <laughs> Real quick. So, uh, you, good. Um, yeah, well, and then I'm gonna, cunning action, hi. So. Okay. Cool. Good. <laughs> Uh, Mark. Okay, um... I'm going to run up yeah. opposite side of her. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to get within five feet. Wait, can you see? Can you see? I can see the glass cloud of you coughing. Even if I'm high? You're like... So I imagine the coughing would... Yeah, the coughing would... Yeah, the coughing would... <laughs> 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 You can't see me. <laughs> <laughs> I hear something over there. Smoker's lung. Yeah, yeah. Smoker's lung plus ten shots of tequila in the middle of the night. <laughs> oh god. They don't. Um, I run out and I'm just like, ah! I'm yelling like a madman here. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna attack three times. Yeah. Um, let's see if I hit. I think mechanically too, because we're all three back to back. It's like our turns go at once. We're the three brothers. <laughs> All right, makes sense. Let's see if I hit. Did Mark have to Maybe. And the fact that he said you're one, the youngest two, on the middle of these bullets. 24, 11, and 14. Um, I'm going to use action strength there you go. to attack three more times. So, I mean, there you go. Yes. So, <laughs> so, so uh, everyone has. Weaken the defenses of this lord of his domain and just broken his body apart. And he had so many augmentations to his body that he was so confident this could never happen. Uh, he had so many defenses in place. It doesn't make sense. Also, we ignore the gargoyles. So. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, everyone just ran right past them. Yeah, no, like, they don't well, I moved you past them so you could hit them. I just shot past them. I think they went around. In this moment, the, the golem before you collapses down and once, you know, 12 feet tall, he's down to your height now. And 
there seems to be like a cosmic tear happening in him. And it, it seems like a, 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 something momentous is, is happening. Something huge. And he's, yes, you've killed him, but like, what do you do though? As he's dying. Uh, I like my chest on fire. Ah, as a, re- a, a, a reaction, I'll, I'll grab his soul token. And <laughs> use it to trinket. Nice. I'll, okay. use, I'll use my whip to grab the chest and just like, bam! That's it. Yeah, I like the chest on fire. <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh. So, in the chest, Mordenheim broke free of his manacles. Bastard. And enhanced all of your bombs. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> He had nothing better to do. Right. As a bonus reaction, I'll turn into uh, a ghost. <laughs> Good time to not be physical. <laughs> yeah, listen the ghost. We'll give the ghost the mat. Here you go. <laughs> so much Light like uh, those old movies where they had like uh, alcohol or tea and, or nitrous mm-hmm. or whatever in, oh. la- in liquid form. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. So you reach out. Whoop! You get to your whip, and as soon as you, you throw it at the beast, and he's already done. Like Adam's died. The chest goes, and as it's flying through the air, it opens, <laughs> and out pours Dr. Victor Mordenheim. He's like, oh, hello again! Oh! And, <laughs> like uh, Green Goblin, just like, he like, throws out a bunch of bombs at once. It's like 10 of your bombs oh, no. all pouring at once, and he's coming onto the monster, which is down. So whatever your the damage would have been, it's like... Uh, 8x. Each one was 3d6, technically. 8 times that. So oh, 24d6! <laughs> Damn it, just... It, <laughs> just it, <laughs> I mean, all everything. But, yeah! yeah. That's <laughs> one that. that's, that's, except damage. me, I'm a ghost. <laughs> that's right, the only one left! <laughs> well, and so what I'm going to do then, too, is grab his soul token, too. So now I have both... Or soul trinkets. Like, oh, fuck yeah. I use my reaction to... Dash away. <laughs> dash, dash, dash. I'm so sorry. That is the I never got the I jump out the window. <laughs> you do, but not because you wanted to. You were blessed. Yeah. <laughs> and as you were just about to hit, you just evaporated. <laughs> Wait a minute. Those bombs weren't that big. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> And you just see, after the explosion, the dust settles, you just see Wendell oh, yeah. go ahead and like clean off and walk out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So Wendell is the only one left. Yes. Because of his form. And I have their, I have their soul trinkets, which Fuck is yeah. well, actually one of my everybody's. abilities. Yeah. Wendell becomes the next bad guy. I can, actually, technically, yeah, technically I have everybody's soul trinkets. So I just, everyone that died, I just have their trinkets and it's a little aberration of who they are. So basically, kind of like this. Little well, t- yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Wait, I got you, I got you. Yeah. <laughs> So, the only survivor is left with the, the minis. Mm-hmm. Of your bodies, but you have one. You've defeated the foe and destroyed the lords of Lemuria. Yes. And, and so, so the castles are the monks still alive? Probably they are. Okay. Yeah, and so yeah, no, that's what I was gonna ask. Where were the monks still alive? Because they were because that whole explosion out with the trip. It we were on a fast track, and so they were on the bottom floor, though. or the second floor. They couldn't come. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So it completely wipes out the top of the monastery. There's no more third floor. The monks, the Wendell uh, makes his way down with the soul trinkets and finds the monks completely different demeanor. They they are And he hands he hands the monks the two tokens for the doctor and, and for Adam. Nice. <laughs> nice. So they grab those. You'll notice that there there's no more shyness, there's no more fear, there's no more apprehension. They're just Living their best lives. <laughs> the full of it. Yeah, they're the bad guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now it's time to get them out. <laughs> no, like, there were seven of them. Uh, seven thanks, of guys. Us. Now we can really. I didn't get the doing any sort of damage or anything, but I got to live, so I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do any damage, and I died. <laughs> 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 